Trash to Cash Podcast, episode 132. How's it going, everyone? I'm ADH Dave, and with me as always, we have American Jeez. Arbitrage and Commonwealth Picker. Up there How come I don't top. see any names? Uh, oh, yeah. You can have names if that's you what you names. want, Papa. Have we even been yeah. doing names? I, names. I didn't do a Yeah, nobody name. knows who we are when they watch it. They're like, oh, I just well, assume. maybe that's a good thing. I assume they yeah, know. That's true. They know. We our want. Names, we want right? complete. Oh, they might think I'm Jeff Pile Picker. We want complete anonymity with this podcast. We want no one to know who we are, so we don't. Get I don't know how to spell that. handsomest. Mm. Didn't somebody send that. you an email, Dave, and asking for our like channels or something, like, for our names? Yeah, or eBay. Yeah. Supposedly eBay. Wanting our logins, they, saying they wanted, that we've been they hacked. Wanted Kevin's login and his social, and I gave it to him. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know. It's easy to remember. It's three. Yeah, it's just all three. Just three. Three, three, just three, 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 three. No, just one. So three. eBay Dang didn't it. watch this show and be like, yes, let's be the key sponsor yeah. for the Trash to Cash I think eBay podcast. should be the key sponsor. It's weird that they didn't because we're They we're can providing... feel we're talking about Bonanza too much. And they is there wanna, any they other reselling podcast that has put well, two urinating emojis in one <laughs> thumbnail? Yes, in one we have, thumbnail. We have taken it to the next level. Just three short <laughs> episodes after the key string episode. This is exactly. the, I'm so proud yeah. to be on this podcast. Yeah. You should be. You should be, day. man. We haven't even talked about a number seven in a hundred episodes. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people uh, did find out who the the pee drinker was from the flea across Florida. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think a lot of people know. Cheers. Now. Oh, he's drinking oh. pee right now. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, dude. I got uh, the blue. The soothing I need taste to see of a urine on a podcast. <laughs> So well, guys, I saw, yeah, oh, go I ahead, saw Kevin. Dave that you, well, did you know Kerry Dave was cheating on us? Did you know that? Ooh, he was, was cheating I? on us. What, what yeah, did you do? he was what on another podcast. What podcast were you oh, on? Dave? Dave? Kevin was on another user. podcast. I know that much. Yeah, I was trying to get more people to know my name, and I thought that podcast would be a good fit. Like, a lot Where'd of people go? would learn about me. I think it's up to 30 views. So <laughs> I, <laughs> nice. Those are fun. I, I watched it today. Slim, slim picking, slim oh, flipping, flippers, one, flippers, okay, slim flippers, yep. and he really wants us to talk. He he loves. He made a joke, and he really loves the joke. It's something about okay, Kevin well, having it. a snuggle bus, and that's the name of the trailer. It's him and Mike's snuggle bus. So oh, because he yeah. asked that I brought that up. He didn't make the joke, Dave. You called it that. No, he did. He did. No, he no. said he's been you trying. You called to... it that in the past. Oh, you but who knows what remember. I said in the well, past? Well, yeah, it's oh, weird. Like, it's just, it's <laughs> just a diarrhea. It's just a hardwood bad. floor and one sleeping bag. What are we supposed to think? You yeah, are. Are you guys better... sleeping? <laughs> I was a much better what? You're a much better host of a podcast than a guest. Okay. That is well, it's terrible as a guest. I was trying not to. I've never. I'm not going to say I never watched this show, but I may or may not have never watched the show, and I didn't know the flow. <laughs> Dave. And, and honestly, Mike just said, hey, can you hop on? I was like, yeah, I'll just hop on. Dave talk. just like barely repaired his relationship with Captain Nurse Flipper after <laughs> just being a terrible guest on her show. <laughs> Did that be just the worst? I would love to watch that. Oh, that was that's a somewhere. Good one. That was a good one. Me, we were somewhere. just messing with Dave the whole time, and then Dave couldn't handle it. Couldn't What's be cool. up with this? Couldn't keep it cool. Terminator? Look at this. Look at this, so dude. We got John Claude Van Douche. <laughs> Look at behind <laughs> Carrie. Look behind Carrie. You got freaking Spider Man. Oh, Honey, yeah. Put your head he? the other way. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. He's got Spider Man with yeah. the trash and cash hat. Look at his fanny pack. <laughs> it's got a pig. Hey, uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin okay. almost he's holding a dollar. Him. Audio listeners, Carrie has a Spider Man behind him, full sized, uh, with an Enemyman and a fanny pack that says CWP. Oh, Death Pile yeah. support pig, I believe. He's got an American arbitrage handkerchief that Don made out of the one shirt we had left. So yeah, and he's got a trash to cash hat, and it looks like that <laughs> finger was in your naughty place. It, yes. And look, <laughs> look. I also went full. I went full tool tool bag because now I have a mullet. <laughs> Oh yeah, what, what happened with that? Wait, turn. Let me see. No, no, no. Let me see. Let me see. Why do you have a mullet? Why is that a thing? Because I want to be. I want to look like. I want to look like a baseball player. Dude, like are, you no. are you risen? I want to riz. I'm, are you on Grannian? I, I just don't want to feel old, and this is how I'm handling. I'm not getting a, a phallic tattoo. This is like a straight Kevin. up midlife crisis, Kevin. <laughs> you're gonna hold on. This is all. At all least right. I admit Switch it. Switch it up. Let's make fun of Carrie now. <laughs> Hey, uh, Carrie has a mullet. There's the title. Carrie has Carrie a mullet. Has a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie has a mullet. That's it. That's all I need. Oh, that's so horrible. Well, wow. dude, me, and, me and Turner laugh at the baseball kids that walk around looking like that. Yeah. yeah now I, 
I just, I, I always hate my hair going out long, and then I just want to see what it looks like, man. But I'm going to look like a douche. <laughs> nah, I'm too old know. for this haircut. Dawn said I wasn't, though. So she said oh, it was okay. Yeah, Dawn's, well, Dawn's right like everything. an 80s, you know, metal Yeah, Dawn, band Dawn girl, wants me to so look like David Coverdale, but it's not yeah. going to oh, happen. Yes, mm-hmm. Tony Katane. Yeah. yeah, so. I don't she think better she's start dancing on my Honda Civic if she wants me to look like David Coverdale. Honda Civic, your Cadillac. So reselling podcast. Yeah, either one. Reselling podcast. Yeah, guys. Uh, we've got some questions eBay, about reselling. Mercari. We've sold some stuff this last couple of days. Yeah. I watched a little bit of Kevin's video. Well, what did I say? 22 seconds is when I sent you that what screenshot. Video? Oh, we had oh. like the hazmat <laughs> suit behind you for choking out puppies or whatever. Yeah, dude. Why you, do you, you have, have your clothes hanging on your cabin? I told you. And they're fine. Listen, there was blood on the hazmat suit. Smell, there's only so many ways you get a smoky smell out. And this wasn't like cigarette smokes. This is like campfire camping out okay. in the woods smoke, right? Yeah. And it'd been stuck for a while. So I hang clothes up. I take um, fabric softener sheets, you know, and I put them all in the pockets and the sleeves. And I just hang them outside for a few days. And it helps sounds like, so much. Sounds like it's not the first time you've tried to get smell out of or or stains, stains out of. Stains and smells out of your clothes, yeah. Kevin. Mm-hmm. My co- mm-hmm. well, my reselling clothes. I came. I had a crazy, Is that crazy what you're calling pick. It? Reselling. That see, you've talked about this before. Would you pass up stuff that was you know soiled or whatever? And most of it, I would. But if it's got just a slight smell to it, I'm not passing up fire. It's, a, it's of that. different if you soil it. It's okay. When was this crazy <laughs> pick that happened this week? Or rod. <laughs> no, no, no. This is oh no. This, I'm talking about an old one that I that was w- way worse than this one as far as mm. smell. And I literally hung that stuff outside for like months on end. And my wife's like, "Is this stuff gonna ever leave?" And then I put it outside in a little wooden box for a long time. And when I took it out, like six months later, it smelled great. So just hang the stuff up. It, it takes a while, but it'll get the job done. Okay. Would that work for my whole entire garage that kind of smells like butt? <laughs> is there something in I try to open there? the garage door, and it just still always smells like a, the a problem nice is, faint butt. Is the, amount of, the problem is the amount of <laughs> farts you do in there. It's a lot of One. farts. I eat a lot of Yeah, it's a lot of farts. Lactate. But but we know with Dave, every five to six uh, farts is a shart. And That's, I don't feel like you clean up yeah, thoroughly no. afterwards. I don't clean up at all. I just let it. <laughs> you just let it. You know that this song? This is my you living got space. Let it I'm not going to Carrie, there's your next cover. Zombies. You got to let it linger. I meant okay, it. But about my sharts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That should be the pin. Is Are we still doing pins for Patreon? Did you, Carrie, I mean, yesterday was an insane <laughs> community sale in Florida day. Was yeah. it an insane community sale in Vegas? Dude, day? I was at the card show. I don't know. You didn't go? No. Did Dawn go? She, we, we went, we, no, we didn't, she didn't go either. Dawn needs to just start going to garage sales with a camera on. I don't, That's yeah, I she think. does. I agree. Yeah. We're going next week, but this, uh, this was the, the one, footage. this, I told Seriously. her, I told her I would, and yeah. she'd be like, well, Carrie, you won't get around to it for three months. Yeah, why like, does she well, not want to, okay, so she would go, she would go to sales with a camera on? She's not afraid of that? She's not afraid of that. No, she just, I don't, then I don't put know. put a camera on her, dude. We've done yeah. that. I've edited some. There's some footage. If you like it, then away. you should have put a camera on it. That's, That's true. That's actually it's a true. song. It is an actual <laughs> word, word for word thong. Song, thong? Thong. thong. Make it's sure a word she for word thong. You're correct. Takes it off before she, uh, before she goes Take to bed. Take the thong off before bed, Kevin said. Yes. Not the this thong. This show has the derailed. Oh, leave the thong on. I don't know what Kevin wants. It's very Kevin. Kevin doesn't, Kevin's are edible, so <laughs> they're just eaten off. Mm. Yes. Oh. Mm. Yeah, they get <laughs> eaten off by the farts. Hey, right? This is just going far. down. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> this is just human stuff, man. I'm in Vegas, week. okay? I'm a little bit raunchy now. Downhill uh, side. Dave mentioned reselling Macari and all I'm that. Trying. So. I'm trying. Bonanza, I'm trying. guys. How about that place? I had some uh, great, oh, really? great flipper videos as far as views. That's go that's that's content. That's not oh, reselling, really? Dave. Are you yeah. wasn't that confused? Me, then. Well, no. Right. I mean, just I, I figured out that you know why? if you let your recycling company take your packages, oh, it's yeah. really good for your channel. <laughs> I told you that would be good. <laughs> oh, like, oh, God. You never want somebody to crush your package. I'm thinking of changing the name of that channel, by the way. Again. Which, ADHD, ADHD Dave. Dave. Yeah, the flips, flips one. I'm thinking about changing it. To what? Something I, I want people to be well, able to why? type in. Well, I'm going to explain it. I want people to type in ADHD Dave and find my picking channel first. And right now it's like such a confusing mess because when they type it in, it shows both. Like if I type in Commonwealth uh, type Picker. It in. Okay, type it in. Mm-hmm. Well, I never no does anyone ever type no one ever types Commonwealth. They always type Commonwealth. No, they're usually if they're looking for Kevin's YouTube, they're usually screaming it into their Android 
and then getting mad at their nurse. That's yeah, typically yeah. what happens. I think it's just so easy to just write ADH Dave. Put me on the bottom, please. Oh, that's what she's. He's saying. a bottom. Put him on the bottom, please. Uh, but no, I don't know. I was thinking like just change the order so it's like flipping with ADH Dave or something. Just something oh, that like yeah. makes it show. Because those you know people, what? they're I gonna think find it's a bad me. Idea. You think it's a bad idea? Yeah. yeah. But if you type in ADH Dave picks, my normal ADH Dave channel comes up. My flipper videos. T- so they can't even in, find my garage sale videos. Type in Commonwealth Picker and see if any flipper videos come up, and then do it in in inverse. Do it in reverse. Do it we should way. type into YouTube worst reseller and see Ooh, which video. Comes I'm doing up. it. I'm on do it. Do it. Do it. Let's find uh, out who's the worst. Kevin, one. yes, it came up. It was like, but the channel didn't come up, and the flipper video was like fourth. Okay, and, uh, that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, that's good, but but for me, and same with Flipper. With Flipper, no picker stuff comes up. For me. With ADHD, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> look at number look at, one. And look at mine. Three. What did There's you type in? My number one is Vegas is worst resellers, and <laughs> Listen, it's me and Don. <laughs> so the top two when you type in right. worst reseller is Dave then Carrie. Just saying. Yeah, but that's because I, like, I just four days of it ago had a title that had the word worst, worst in it. Yeah, yeah okay. and it's yeah, hashtag yeah. reseller. So but it's we so need to be on a on an account that's not related to anybody. I think that would. Wait help. a minute. Wait a minute. Is J is that Jay right? Who is this? That and Steve. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not Jay. Oh right no, right. that's uh, that's Matt, dude. <laughs> they did a video on Oz, Oz, Ozzy Picker. For oh, that's who it is. Yeah. Well, okay. I buddies. gotta get. It's a little small on the screen here, so. If you type in ADH Dave picks though, literally the first thing that comes up is a flipper video. At least last time I tried it. Let me try it now. Actually, hey, look, it's Thrift Mine. <laughs> Thrift Mine. There we go. Oh, there you They're go. They're putting cameras cool. on baby strollers. They're I don't know. I guess it's similar, Kevin. I guess it doesn't matter. Another Dave know. video. Worst. Does this oh, make me know. eBay's worst? Kevin's reseller? also <laughs> just my putting cameras on baby strollers. It's easier for idea. him to steal dogs with the baby stroller. So reselling. Hmm. So yesterday was crazy community sales kevin is it like fully in force in in virginia yet are you no. seeing tons of mm, no still so, no there was no it's, it's cold dude it's April. freezing it was cold no it oh hit gosh. look this is my this is my earmark there's always some sales before this but the chatham citywide yard sale which is not very good that is like when like after that week i feel like is when it starts so i'm thinking next weekend is when it starts so i had a choice i had to go to bedford there's a community sale with their which there never is in my little town and i'm like sweet and then i'm like wait a minute so reagan's got gymnastics in pennsylvania so heather's gone and blue ridge mom sorry i don't say your name and then turner had a tournament in north carolina the that he tournament. Had to be <laughs> the tournament tournament there you go he had to be there at what time did he have to be there? Uh, 11, no, he had to be there at 10. And I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, that's two hours away. I'm like, this is not going to work. I got to go to yard sales. So I got Jess, who has a, a little boy um, who's on that team too, to take Turner. Or no, anyway, whatever. I got somebody to take Turner. And I had to go south to hit the Chatham sale because. If I went to Bedford, it'd be two and a half hour drive, and I'd be I'd leave at ten. So I had to go to that one instead, and it was pretty good. I, I picked with my buddy Ben Jones. You, you made it we to did the game good. though, right? Because I saw you had video. I did. Kind of I game. was. Uh, I got there at eleven oh eight, and they were ahead of schedule, so they started fifteen minutes early, and I missed Turner's first inning of pitching. But I got the second and third inning of pitching, so I'm I feel okay. How many pitches does Turner have? Does he have a slurve yet? No, he he's 10, yet? dude. He's 10. He works on a little curveball, but he's just all fastballs. Yeah. Which aren't that fast. I mean, he's probably the fourth or fifth pitcher on the team. Probably faster than my my fastball. I, I, he throws I, strikes. I throw a pretty nice 37-mile-per-hour one. Um, well, listen, yeah. I also have baseball stuff. My wife's cousin. Yeah. It's a very famous catcher. I mean, dude, is there a more famous dude, catcher right now? Than he him? needs to get you, probably. He's he needs, one of the you most need to get some popular. Bobby bobbleheads, yeah. Some you bobbleheads. He has some a bobblehead. You saw I know. They've been selling, dude. Yeah. Apparently, uh, so if you guys don't know, her cousin is, what's his name again? I forgot. Patrick Bailey cousin. of Patrick the San Francisco Bailey, Giants. San Francisco Giants, and yesterday was his bobblehead day, and he got three RBIs, whatever that means, and a home run. Like, into the, what's an RBI? That's when run you bat a, a, run, a hitter. You hit and somebody scores. The RBI. So run, so you, someone else in. scores or you score? Someone somebody else, else scores. Well, it okay. could be you score if it you could hit be a home you, run. Yeah. You drove well, yourself. Well, anyways, in. on his bobblehead night, and they had the free bobblehead, and it's selling for like fifty to sixty bucks. And, That's what uh, I love. So I am yeah, going next next month. I'm going next month to California for another card show, 
And every time I'm in the city, I like to go to a baseball game if I can. And I scheduled it for Shohei Otani's bobblehead night, which is Ooh, nice. He's famous. It's gonna be it's gonna be him like at a slot machine. It's gonna be really awesome. List it now, <laughs> dude. What if you just draft it up and just list it? You know. Oh, dude. There's people, some people do, do pre-sell that. it. Listen, yeah, pre-sell it. I've said this it. before. I've said this before on the podcast. But what happens is There's you the need to sell it right there. then. You need. Very oh, cool. wow, yeah. All right, Patrick. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. You need to sell cool. those bobbleheads immediately, immediately after you get I them. literally the price I've talked will about go this down before. on them. Take a picture of the bobblehead with the stadium well, and like with the field in view cuz I do that all the time. I do it all they the time. Know it, Pick it up. They know you're at the game and it will sell almost every time if you're priced right. And then bring up, a go home. pocket of at a major league game one of these you bring maybe bring a pocket of $10 bills and be like, I'll oh, yeah. buy it, I'll buy it off you, I'll buy it off you. I've done exactly. that before. So. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. good. But listen, cool. there's a company who who imports these things and then gives them to these teams, especially the minor league teams. And what they do is they keep a bunch back for themselves and they list them on eBay and they sell them off before a lot of times before anybody else can. And they make a ton of money on those because yes. they're paying next to nothing for them. Wow, shady, shady business. That's some yep. shady dealings. That's some Commonwealth level business. Yeah, that is. Right that's there. some yeah. stuff. I don't, I don't trust that guy. That Commonwealth guy, by the way. Well, I'm really looking forward to the part of the show, like in a couple months, when everyone has like, garage sales to talk about. But it's still I, just to, me. I mean, I have no. I went to me. garage sales. Oh, you so went. So what 20. happened? So I just told the whole story, Dave. You, you didn't told dude, no, I hold picked, on, hold on, time I out, went time picking. Out. I just you told picked me for the cards. Story, Is that not good enough for you, you guys? You told them, me the story about the baseball game, but not about the picking. No, what did you that's buy? That's not true. Viewers What'd tell me doesn't listen. What'd you buy? Again? I went. I said I had to go south and hit those sales, so I was giving us directions. Where I needed to where, what where, did you where, buy? What did you buy with the money? Chatham, Chatham Citywide Yard Sale. Yes. What did you buy at that sale? I bought stuff. I bought all kinds of stuff. Specifics. You're such a politician. You're the future mayor of Bedford, for gosh sake. That's because he didn't actually go yard selling. He, he doesn't know what his did. employees yeah, bought yet. Exactly. Oh, my I God. like this. I like I this finagling with, going on. Go ahead. I went with Joey Pinjo Thrift. You might oh, you know. said that. Also, yep. Yeah, that's awesome. I heard all of that. You've reset none that, everything. None of that so, information was requested. Go ahead. If I went with Joey Pinjo Thrift to yard sales, <laughs> and you heard that, then what made you think I didn't go to yard sales? What did you buy? What did you buy? Oh, you're, so you're just skipping past the logical points. I bought purses at the very first sale. Okay. I mean, I, I, Michael Kors, Coach, Never heard of and... It. Uh, Look at him, just naming geez, names, just making stuff one? up. Off the top no, of the Gucci. Was the other one. Gucci. No, no, Gucci's no, no, one. You I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton. Betsy Johnson. Although, I did have an employee I got buy something, this but this is a story. What the heck was the other one? Oh, Kate Spade. I got two beautiful brand new Kate Spades. What did you pay per purse? 20 uh, actually, a little bit more on average because they were just mm. perfect. They were yeah. off. So probably, I think I got three. I got four plus a wallet for eight. No, eighty-five, something like that. Right around there. Okay. Four plus a wallet. I don't know what is that. Twenty. Actually, it's less than twenty if you count the wallet. But you know, it was pretty good because they were pretty quality ones. I was happy. And I without the wallet, reason, how I much? I can't think of a ton of stuff. I did find an old. Um, Without the wallet helmet, shut up. I'm just, mess, I'm just messing. <laughs> oh, so you know what I math. found in the wallet? So we're we're down like uh, two sales later. Some Zen and and I and you I'm wish. put I'm going through the purse checking whatever in the back because Joey's driving and I find this guy's ID in there and I'm like oh my gosh. So uh, we had to go back. So you're gonna do some it, light so. identity theft now? No. <laughs> yeah, he's always looking for new ways to side money. hustle dude side hustle uh, <laughs> i'm trying to think i can't even think of this stuff i mean so you got a couple I did, purses i did no i did really good i feel you I said you went to 20 sales up. is that right yeah. 20 sales yeah, and they were all in bought. one were they very close proximity it, well it's a city wide but it ain't yeah, no city yeah. it's like uh you know there's uh, there ain't very many people there let's put it that way. yeah like they were within day. they were within three miles what you so. really care about how many videos did you get kev yeah, probably one and a half. It was mm. good content. I mean, good people, funny. I mean, I'm trying to think what the, I bought. Some boots. I bought. Uh, oh, oh, really? Funny. What kind of boots? With the fur. All right, I could see uh, Justin boots. So, but my buddy, the first five sales, he wasn't buying anything. What are y'all doing to me here? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Apple bottom <laughs> jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> My buddy who invited me down to this thing every year because he lives down there, and he didn't buy anything in the first Pinjo five Thrifts? sales. Is it Joey yeah. Pinjo Thrifts? And so he <laughs> doesn't buy much. I'm trying to tell a story. 
So tell it. God, get on plain. with it. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm trying to think what your reaction to this would be. So you okay. got. I'm kind of postulating something here. Okay. So we're he doesn't buy him. anything for like Cross three or four, five <laughs> sales. He's buying nothing, and I'm buying all this good stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I feel bad. And okay. so we get to this next sale, and he's looking at these action figures. I'm like, sweet, he's gonna get something. And it's his kid's old teacher, and this little boy is selling action figures. He's like, how much for these action figures? Oh, these are all a dollar. These are three over here. And so he starts pulling these action figures, and he gives the kid a dollar because it was a dollar side. He pulled three action figures, gave him a dollar, and the kid takes the money, and then he whispers to my mom, I wanted $4 for those. You could all hear it. Mm. And he's like, uh, and then he wasn't going to sell it to him for the dollar. He wanted it back. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, he's going to pay $4 a piece for these action figures that are probably worth 5 bucks. He was just trying to be nice. Yeah, oh, there's a worst, piece? Man. Did he actually yes. do it? Yes. He, he did it. Four, eight, he 16. paid whatever. I did math. $16 ridiculous. for four action I'm figures? I'm like, wow. dude. And he's like, I can't believe I did that. He's like, oh, Why did so he do what that? would you have done? Well, well that's what, I would have said, oh, okay, kid. never mind. I would have said, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> that's that's what what I would have been that easy. Oh, I would have. Listen, kid. No, I would have I mean, said, I would, no, you committed no. to a dollar, you moron. A dollar for all <laughs> That's the thing. So I'm thinking, Carrie, he took the money. He took oh, the $4 yeah. and took yeah. it and then whatever. It's and too late to back out. You couldn't back out of it. It was the back out. Yeah, I don't care if he's a kid. He's got to learn a figure, figure kid. kid. Yeah. No, I, I would have I would have just said, oh, okay, never mind. Thanks. And I'm pretty sure water. Dave would have made the kid cry. Dave would have made the kid cry. I would have went and bought some lemonade from him or something. I felt so bad for him. I bought him at the next sale. There were some Carhartt suspenders for a buck. And I'm like, dude, I'll, let me let me at least pay for these things for you to recoup your kid money over there. I was like, I would have cut it out of the video if you felt like you were going to feel bad about it. You know, look Kevin bad. does not miss a chance to exploit children in his thumbnail. Yeah, he's... So. He's monetizing. He's, he's monetizing this kid who is confused. This his friend who was I, upset about something. I didn't something. say I was putting it in the just, video. I might. Gosh, uh, just have I some might. scruples, you know. Yeah, I don't know. What's wrong with that? I'm okay, so with you, dude. so that's cool, mm. Kevin. So it sounds like you actually did have a successful day, even though you it said you didn't yard sale at all. Earlier. Well, listen, I had you talked about you teased me about an employee. Shut up. Uh, you teased <laughs> me about an employee. So Jess was. She lives really near that one sale in Bedford, and she didn't have to go. Jess anywhere. B. Crafton? No. Jess, did you did you not meet Jess when you were here I, after I, 6 p.m.? Is it Bubba's girlfriend? Are you no, reviewing her Jess no, now? No, You don't watch my show. You know, I mean, she's I on the whatnot. She helps me with the what, whatever. I thought that was Bubba's girlfriend. Is there yeah, two I thought it was Bubba's girlfriend. Is he dating two does, girls? Does Bubba have a no. new girlfriend? <laughs> no, it's not a, Breaking no. news? No. So is Bubba's cool. girlfriend's name Jess? <laughs> no. Then who is Jess? Who's Jess? Oh you, is this serious. one of your swinger friends? Is this like part I of Jess? I don't watch your show. For, well, I'll tell you what. I'll break some news on this show then. So Jess You're always, pregnant. I've said, <laughs> Jess comes by whenever I have a, a giant buy and she helps me. Because I'm not like Dave who apparently goes to pee across Florida and lists everything. Pee everything Florida. already. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah, I tell you. Did you watch my video or something? I watched the like Slim Flippers six, podcast, Dave. I told you that. Six grand worth of listings, Kevin, I know. from that, from that You're event. You're going to ruin your reputation as a bad kicker. Yeah. 600 into six grand, just saying. You know, ain't no you said well, 900 yeah. on the podcast. Well, I'm not yeah. counting the jewelry because the recycling company <laughs> yeah, threw it out. Yeah, you know. <laughs> can, we talk, can we talk about the I'm amount of money? I'm removing that from the equation. <laughs> can we talk about how much money you've made on that bear buy? Because I think you're in the profit now. Barely. Well, oh, you, how many bears do you have left? And I, I told you, I was like, Dave, you should do it. Bucks, bro. I was like, bucks exactly, I the one that you couldn't display correctly. The polar bear that I didn't comb properly sold for 260 bucks, but it had free shipping, and shipping cost 30 bucks. So it was really like two. Bucks. Dave, you are so out of character lately. You're you're I'm like sorry. you're like bragging about being a good pick. You're as bad as Don is about bragging about. I your legitimately games. think Carrie. I'm getting better. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm Dave, you never were bad. You never I, were a bad I know, picker. but I think You've always been a good picker. I've always been good at picking, but I think I'm I'm aiming my 
little reticle is that what they call it on a weapon the, the reticle? targeting reticle is that what it's yeah, called the, the rec- i'm targeting the- better <laughs> yeah. product i'm targeting better product. The receptacle <laughs> so i think i'm always good at finding the things i'm trying to sell but i think i'm trying to sell better stuff yeah that's yeah no point. doubt that's, that's dave Terry, you gotta listen to this podcast because he was bragging about himself and he well, was I like no oh, one would ever watch it kevin thanks for bringing like, it to light he's like i go to this sale he's like oh these these pickers just sit in the car like, mike a said it sale. mike bragged on dave me i did and, there, brag on me. And, and he goes in there. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna find is something Mike, to sell. I usually find something worth a hundred dollars." Is Mike a co-host of that? On the table. Mike no. kind of is. Uh, he's on. It's it like a he lot. was on a different he's episode too. No, no, because that no. guy has two podcasts. Kevin, you're telling the story. You're doing a Dave and kind of twisting the story around, sir. Oh, well, at least Mike, he admits it. Mike said, "Watch that, it for yourself, that, Gary." Yeah, Mike said <laughs> that I have an annoying knack for getting out the car in a crappy looking sale and coming back with a hundred dollar item. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Because I did that mm-hmm. like three times with Mike. It doesn't always happen, but it did happen several times at P across Florida. I love that we're calling it that now. Well, it yeah. so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well listen, it we got so I went I ended up I, I timed it right. So I'm like I set my alarm. I'm like, I know how far I am from Turner's game. And so I left for Turner's game and then yeah, you happened to drive through the country and I saw two signs in the country and I'm like, I I can't Are not you strong stop. enough. See, I'm I, strong no, enough. I just uh-uh. keep going. Nope. Yeah, so okay. I stopped at both sales, which is why I was eight minutes Turner's late. Turner's crying on the mound <laughs> yeah, at the exactly. game. Exactly. Daddy doesn't <laughs> love but, me. Daddy quit his job. Turner, I got this me. old Pete on T-shirt. I have an excuse. I, <laughs> I have had to get my fix. I, I have an excuse. The, okay. I drive, and I see three giant Halloween pumpkin blow molds as I'm driving oh, past okay. this thing. I I'm like, I there. can't. Two bucks a piece. Well, and Turner can always like fall back on the fact that you'll play three extra games of fake catch with him, so it'll yes. be fine. Dude, I play catch with that kid every day, y'all. Well, no, not every day. Most days, batting sometimes, practice. Yeah, sometimes you hire that out. We did. <laughs> well, listen. All right, so let me break the story here. I'll break the story. Right, so since it. you don't know that Jess comes by and helps us with this, well, Jess or has who a she fr- is. By yeah, the way, right. she might not even be a real person for all I know. Show. She watches this show Hi, religiously. Jess. Hi, Jess. She Hi, Jess. watches this show religiously. Is she the one that I'm talks in the background of your whatnots? I thought that was Bubba's girlfriend. Both of them, Dave. Both of them. Bubba's girlfriend talks more than Jess. Okay. Jess and, and Bubba's girlfriend run all of my whatnot except for the show. That's okay. it. They run it all. They do everything. Hi, except Jess. for buy the stuff. Hi, Jess. Anyway, I know you exist. Must be I'm nice. just kidding. Must be nice to have people do all the stuff for you. Uh, well, no, nice. listen. I just I'm have gonna... Dawn only doing everything for me. I wish I, I had several going... people doing everything for me. <laughs> I'm going to hire Jess full-time. Oh, look full at time. you. $5 yeah. an hour. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> she, yeah. five, Somebody's yeah. getting $5 and a lunch well, at listen, Costco every I, day. I, I, I kind of owe Dave for this because I remember Dave's video way back when, when, when Harry Tornado gave me that bump before he deserted us for a stupid golf channel. Yeah, so, yeah I asked how his channel was doing. He didn't even respond. I was trying to be friendly. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so, but I remember that video and your follow up video, and you talked about the biggest growth you thought you could see was on the reselling side, right? You remember that? Yeah. The biggest growth. And I think that's, I mean, yeah. that's probably true. That's true. Right? Yeah. And at, back then, I didn't sell them. I did like one show, like uh, I did one show, and then a year later, I did another, and then I did a few. And I think, because this has kind of been a test with them controlling different things and doing stuff, and I've been running the numbers, and they're making i'm making more money even though i'm paying them i'm making more money they so call I'm that like, scaling a business kevin yeah i know but it's not something i ever wanted to do and i still want to keep ebay for myself but mm. i'm like i can do ebay i can run this live stuff over here pay them to do it and i can increase my income and i yeah, can help you're just friend. like you're just the you're just the host you're like letting you're like the, the chevy <laughs> chase you know unlikable and people <laughs> watch you because jay leno's not on i actually like get canceled I think chevy chase is likable is he unlike no, chevy chase yeah. show, yeah. i'm talking about his talk show that lasted like six oh, weeks. i never saw that Dude, just, there's a lot of people National say bad things about and, and no people Christmas hate chevy chase yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they do yeah mm-hmm. well anyways <clears throat> I, I have trouble like, letting I don't go. want to talk about it. I have trouble letting go of control when it comes to that sort of stuff. Like, what do I really want to put on whatnot? Okay, like, what do I this, want is to put on perf- this is why it's perfect. This is why it's hard. No, no, but listen, that's why it's perfect. I do that. So when I buy this stuff, and this is why it's going to be, I'm going to try to buy more, is I buy this stuff, and then I separate it immediately right then. Mm. And it's like, okay, this is my eBay pile. 
this is live auction and she she loaded a dividend you see i did dibbit live from turner's game no i didn't i was live from turner's game i didn't game. get a notification shocking i gotta download <laughs> this i gotta download the the district app i think <laughs> you should get that app <laughs> listen let me tell you something there were i didn't notice there no. i got a little mercari thing that i want to talk about with that too but there were yeah, did you, you guys know we thing. sold almost a thousand dollars in static sales this week over on dibda yes because someone sold something 700 700 bucks <laughs> yeah but we sold like yeah. 80 85 or 90 today there was like five sales in the last three days and it's wow. going up of course the auction so there yeah, somebody just bought a pokemon game for 70 bucks over pokemon. there just right before we came on <clears throat> gonna anyway, be the very I should thank best them. Buy my stuff on Dib. I tried to get somebody at the card show excited about selling on Dibdick because they're breakers. Yeah. And they were very much not interested. But I tried. <laughs> <laughs> they they were like very into like they liked me, but they were not into they like Carrie's immediately caught on that I was y'all. shilling. I can't do it cool. Yeah, <laughs> you can't yeah. do it cool. Well, do <laughs> no, this. Gary's selling on the twenty six sport cards. Yeah. Eight I'm o'clock do Eastern cards. Standard Time. I'm gonna sell wrestling cards that day. Nice. Okay. I got a I'll ton put in of some. Them. I got. Hogan I could sell some garbage pail kids that day. There. Well, there's a spot yeah. right here. ADHD. I'm gonna do a box is... break. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. What like day some, is it? Oh, some this is what I some Playboy do. cards or something. <clears throat> Friday the 26th. Of which month? This so one? that is it. That's the day. Oh, the plush sale day is Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> five free. We're selling plush all day long over there. Nice. So if you're a plush nice. seller, come on over. But listen. Jess went to that sale. I didn't get to tell my story, right? Why is Kevin it's... running the show today? What's happening? Yeah, now, what is Kevin? Is... Ooh, spicy now... Kev. Oh, well, I'll shut up in a minute. No, Let me tell the story. Asleep, so she's, a... <laughs> she, she's gotten better because, you know, she's doing a little stuff here and there. And so she goes to a yard sale and she buys this stuff and then she comes down to the game. We're talking at the game. And I'm like, well, let me get out of the car. I'll buy it off you. She's got Michael Kors bags. She's got coach bags. She's got first edition Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a notebook that sells for $100 and hundreds and hundreds of first edition Yu-Gi-Oh cards, including some that are really good. Four bucks for all of it. And did you scam her? And yeah. give her that? Oh, Completely. Wow. Jess, How do you, you think that? I'm going to afford to pay her? <clears throat> no, no sure, I didn't. Yeah. I tried to. She wouldn't take it. She wanted to give it to me. I'm like, I'm not I'm not doing it. She's like, no. I <laughs> just pay me what I pay for it. I'm like, what? Oh, Jess. Oh, She's dear, a friend. Dear, She's Jess. a friend of ours. Nah, too much of a friend, Jess. What you yeah, should do Jess. is upcharge The thing with Kevin is... Kevin will take what you give him, and then he'll take more, and he'll keep yeah, taking. Yeah, he'll take. And he'll <laughs> just put your put his hands around your neck like you're some sort of, and then you'll just yeah. Well, I'll say this: I had community sales out the wazoo this weekend. I was like, I went to one, and then as I'm leaving it, there's another one. As I'm leaving that, there's another one. Just every corner. And how did you do, Dave? Because he started this because he wanted to brag about this week no, instead of. I didn't do of that good. Florida. I did okay. I mean, I got a one of these weird. Hermes bracelets like that. No, never heard of that, but that was two dollars <laughs> well spent. Let's just say. <laughs> I, I think mm. I underpriced it because I sold it overnight for one hundred thirty. So I, I did it. Went a little higher, I guess. I underpriced um, an item. I should have. You know, I don't. Worth points just too expensive for me. And Dave does. The, you know, all these people over in the Discord, they're like, I'm not paying for worth point. I want to. Nothing. Um, no, nothing's oh, happening. Okay. All right. The TOS anyway, worth point in our Discord, Kevin. <laughs> anyway, well, I didn't say it was. I said people were attempting. Uh huh. Yeah. But, no. Yeah. You know. Okay. Listen, Kevin. Before you say that, I want you to know that if you become a Patreon member, you're almost guaranteed to win twenty one thousand dollars at a Phillies game. It's happened to our our members before. Our members recently have won twenty one thousand at a Phillies game. He's fun. He's big. He's Wait Brian. Congratulations. Brian did this. I didn't see this. And I think this. being a member of our Discord helped him get there. I think the if he confidence hadn't, it took. Yes, the bet. The confidence to get in one of those raffles bid. that they're always shilling. Exactly. Twenty one yeah. grand in wow. his pocket. So like, because he's a member of our Patreon. No, he was because he was wealthy as a Kevin for a while, okay. and now he's not wealthy as well, a Kevin. Well, he dropped he off wealthy as a Kevin because he was struggling financially, but now he's won 21000 so we expect to see <laughs> we, him we back. We do expect him back. We expect At the motivation some... level. Yes. <laughs> we need some credit, Brian. Actually, no, Brian, go yeah. to the $1,000 level. Yeah, Give Brian, you need to, yeah do, we do have a $1,000 <laughs> level. Brian, don't forget, with the, the best thing about Patreon is how much it helps us. Yeah, us three. Yeah, don't forget uh, that, specifically. Brian. It's very important that you remember. For us. 
Uh, mm. But no, Brian, he doesn't even get a shout out because he doesn't give us. Yeah, we Kevin should uh, level edit one. the name. Edit the name. Yeah, edit the name, out. and we'll just say Bigs Bigs Collectibles. Bigs Collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> one at the game. But okay, we do need to shout out our wealthy as a Kevin because yes. Kevin won't shut up. I have to interrupt yes, him. You yes, guys contractually Kevin obligated. Podcast. Who ate my chips? New member Steve. Oh, Thank you. Who, who ate did? my chips? Thank, welcome Steve. Uh, who's also, Steve? Callie did... ate them. They were the yeah. purple Dorito bag. That's my favorite. The sweet chili. Oh, and Turner likes that. Yeah. Buffing the stuff. Craig McLaughlin, I think buffing this stuff. What is this stuff? What is this stuff? Yeah, That's what nice. I've always wondered. Uh, hold on, let me just make sure. I mean, I feel like we got some new. Had a rash here. of new members. Look at that. Yeah, Kevin has Craig a rash. Craig McLaughlin, Bigs Collectibles, Alexandria Welcome Pickers, Craig. Jake Ryder, CJ Ben, Jake Fines, Ryder, Flipper Skipper, Lady Arbitrage, No No Pickers, too. Brian Sempor, Beal, Harold Tornado. At least he's still giving us yeah. that. Skrilla. Well, thank you for the money. Superhero <laughs> Headquarters, Vintage Sports Flip, Paul's Merch. <laughs> Who's merch? Who's merch? Matt, Ray's Heck Resale, and Logan Markey. What a great Logan, Logan Markey. Markey. I like he's it. like he's been here forever, and he never even like he never even. I don't, says I don't know. Word. I don't he's know Logan. They're supporting yeah, us silently. Like, I don't know Logan from Thank a tree you, in the hill. We appreciate but I I respect him. <laughs> and we hope you're still alive. I mean, we just hope saying. Okay. Like, we hope it's not just auto billing you, and you've just, just been a dead on your couch for sixteen months. I'm hoping. I'm just hoping. Uh, this is what I was thinking. He's saying what I was thinking. Like Logan, we're comment, buddy. We want to know you're okay. We're worried about you. Logan, uh, okay. we're doing a. Kevin, you we're were doing a safety on. check. What were you blathering on? You underpriced something. Remember. You underpriced yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you catch that? I'm really kind of myself. Genius. So I bought these. I bought these uh, creamery bottles. You know, you've seen dairy bottles. You know, mm -hmm. and some of them have value, and some of them, you know, ten, twelve dairy bucks. Air. But I saw. I, you know, around this area, Virginia Tech's not far away. I saw some um, VPI creamery bottles, which is Virginia Tech creamery bottles. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. You're VPI, falling asleep. Wouldn't it this, be... you could learn something here. Venereal. Virginia... Yeah, Virginia Tech is VT, though. What's V? What's the P? Virginia Polytechnic Inter University. Oh, Virginia Poly Tech. Oh, okay. There's, yeah, so there's VPI. multiple techniques. So these are okay. old. They used to have a creamery. It's an agricultural school. So they had a creamery. I've never, ever seen these bottles anywhere. Not even for high money and antique booths. I'm like, this is crazy. Look them up on eBay. Not there. Just not there at all. So I looked at I looked at some Virginia Creamery bottles and I just jacked the price up to seventy bucks each. Jacked and they, it up, huh? They sold they sold for in like twenty minutes. Like what the heck? Yeah. So how much each? Twenty or uh, seventy bucks each. Okay, 70. gosh, man. Do you ever feel like you're ruining like the, the oh, well, Creamery game for I everybody else? I think I could have priced ups. them up higher. They sold in no time at all. Do you think mm. somebody else is gonna flip them? Like it's going to be an infinite flip loop. I don't, Hopefully. I don't know. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't no. I, I, Kevin, you wanted me to brag. I did really well. I mean, I don't know. I, I did, I did really well this weekend. I got you know the Margaritaville for five bucks. I got the Kate or the uh, what's it called the Coach bag that sells for two hundred. I like, got Tony Llama ostrich skin boots ooh, that sell for one hundred fifty bucks. Which, by the way, shouldn't they be it's llama cheating skin? Down there, by shouldn't the way. they be llama skin, not ostrich skin? Because his name's Tony Llama. I don't know. No, mm -hmm. you know, but ostrich I, ones. They're easy to pick out. They got the little points. In them. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see where the feathers. It's kind of gross. Mm -hmm. You can see where the feathers were. It's, it's they weird. plucked them. Yep, yep. And I got a bunch of pen reels, a whole box of them. Ooh, like nice. nice pen reels, the big ones, like salt water mm -hmm. shark fishing. He said yeah. before. And, you know, I wow. don't know it's, it's, it's amazing. Good, man, I, it was. I probably picked like. That's why you don't want to come up here. I spent like three hundred, and I probably picked like eighteen hundred bucks worth of stuff. That's so good. It was That's good. These community, it's community sale season. It's not always like that, but during this community sale time, it's money. Yeah. It's it's there's a lot of money out here. Yeah, it's, I'm. I tell you why I did that wrestling buy that I mentioned last week, and it's turned every every time I dig into it and look more, it's turned out to be better and better. But man, I'm really? still jealous of. But that's like a lucky hit. Like I gotta go the road less traveled to find the one that nobody's going to, and there's only a few anyways. And I've done that lately, so I've been yeah. pretty happy that I picked the right ones. At least yeah. I feel like I have. Oh, and I sent you that picture of that Jim Shore, Jim Shore, that big yeah, old nice big Jim, Jim Shore, Shore. Mm -hmm. two hundred dollar Jim Shore. It's like a two foot <clears throat> angel. It's got like cats in its belly, and it's solar powered. The lady's like, that's what I, I know, that's what I call Kevin. 15? And I'm like, yeah, I'd do fifteen. That'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, that, uh, it was fun. And Grandma came with me, so Mama Picker came with me. She hasn't been in my videos in a bit, so people will be excited to hear that. So yeah. I got a Michael Kors bag for a dollar. Ooh, I like a nice one. Nice, nice Michael Kors bag. I got a Michael Kors <laughs> belt. I went to the sale. This lady had super crazy premium stuff, but she was like still pretty high. But she had Gucci sneakers. 
and I'm like, I'm a Gucci guy now. I don't know if I told you, I bought like little pieces for a Gucci watch. You were a boba boy, but you now you're a Gucci week? man. No, but you just, told the slim just different, just different face plates for the Gucci watch, and I sold it for 140 bucks in a day. Just little yeah. colored face plates, right? So, so I was like, I was on the lookout for Gucci. Maybe Gucci sneakers for 200 that sell for like four or 500, but. You didn't buy. I didn't, I didn't buy them because authentication. They, they were listed. Whatever, well, no, yeah. and they were listed, and I didn't see any solds. Like they were listed no, that yeah. high. I didn't. No. I didn't know. So I found. I have a Rolex that I got, and it's it's broken. The the clasp on the end of it is broken, but it's an old Rolex watch, and I don't know how. To, I've read all the stuff, and I don't know how Send to authenticate it to that stuff. Rad Rolex is actually a professional Rolex authenticator. Comment down below, Rad Rolex. Seriously, me if I'm making this up completely. Okay. <laughs> I will. I'll shoot. Are you I may be. It up? <laughs> yeah, I, I may be. be. Him and Pat D's both can authenticate your Rolex. <laughs> yeah, no, no, is I know you're traveling. It is he still traveling? <laughs> by the way, he's a traveling <laughs> picker. Yeah, he's a traveling picker. But no, it was, it was good. I mean, Carrie, you gotta try yard sales, man. There's a really good. Dude, I I have more than one channel going on here. I was doing footage for my car channel. I got like and how did three, that maybe four. I probably got like three or four videos out of it yesterday. Maybe ten, ten TikToks. So I mean, I'll, I I spent like five six hundred bucks and. I'll, I'll double that just on content, what I'll make on my content. And then um, the cards will probably be like 1200 hopefully, maybe 50 Are you nice. catastrophizing the banning of TikTok? Is that Not at that all. Happening Not worried at all? about it at all, man. Okay. Dude, let me tell you something I'm good at, dude. It's called adaptation. No. If something <laughs> happened, it, no, it's seri no, I'm being serious. I don't think anything's going to happen to TikTok at all. I think yeah. it's all smoke and mirrors. I think if you want to get into it, I think if it came to it, TikTok would die best if they had to. I don't think they'd go away from that. They've already said they won't. They won't, but I don't think they're gonna. I don't think it's gonna come to that. They're either gonna something's gonna happen, because even if it get passes the Senate, it's still gonna be like a year long process. I just don't see it happening. But we'll I know see. daylight savings time was supposed to go away, and I still had to observe it yeah. this year. So the I sun, don't know. yeah, they can't. Seems they confusing. Can't, yeah. So I mean, as long as t you know TikTok right now though, TikTok does pay me like more than YouTube and everything. But you know, yeah. I just adapt. I'd I'd have to start going harder on Pinterest again, I guess. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna make it on Pinterest. All the money's in Snap. Those people who like actually stuck with Snap, they're making. Nah, money. Although, but they're making like a thousand Snap, a thousand a month. That's not that crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not like. Like not not like worth high fairies, tower. Maybe. Yeah, it's it not. It's not worth. It's not worth doing Snap and having nothing happen for twelve months. Just on the off chance it happens hey carrie i recorded a possible i might make my own i went to a thrift store i actually found stuff at the goodwill i have to oh wow change dude. all my did you videos. do a video that would be yeah. trippy I, well i well, i didn't have a camera in my way up. i don't remember what we we're doing that day she's like you want to go to goodwill i'm like no <laughs> but she's like we're going i'm like okay and i found good stuff i found a san marcos blanket in there Dude, found a I sweet red tiger San Marcos blanket. I remember in there I for picked up bucks. a San Marcos blanket because he talked about them, and then it like yeah. took forever to soil, sell and sold for eighteen dollars. Did you say it took forever to Dude, soil? All I San Marcos blankets are not made a lot. You can, but yeah. the part I'm picking. There's new ones, just one. like, just not. It's just like Beanie Babies. Not all of them are worth sixteen million dollars, like the Princess Diana one or the yeah. ones that have but the most beads. are. But, but if they have I, if they have the beads in them, they're good. From what I've I seen. think, minimum I could. Or if they say tie, if they say ty, like they're good. 80, 90. Yeah. 80, 90 it, bucks. It just it, it just depends on what San Marcos blanket you get. But I never ever I've, I've never picked one out here. I, we saw one carry when we yeah. were with Art at in yeah. Vegas at that sale. It was a Bears one or something. I can't remember. Yeah. But I I've never found one out here ever. I never, I, there's a lot of stuff. I, I think we bought one at, at the bins. I think Don found one in the in the bins. One of these bins might have been. Like might it might have been, been San Bernardino or something. I bought a peed on bed. I bought a peed on bed at an estate <laughs> sale this weekend. There's like nice. a peed stain on it. To sleep Why? upon. To sleep upon. I'm sleeping on it now. I slept on it last night. I slept great. The pee stain didn't even bother me, really. I mean, it was yeah, there. Dude, it's just, it was just it right where me. my face was. I just stared at it all night. I didn't even put sheets on it, you know? I, I just, I just, just kind of. No, listen, okay. No, in. I didn't. I put sheets on it, okay? I put multiple <laughs> sheets job, on dude. it. Tina, like, bleached it and stuff, and most mm. of it came out. I mean, it was mm -hmm. it was an estate sale, so someone Look, probably dude. died on it. Mm. It was probably not even pee. It's probably whatever comes out when you die. It was a little bit of that. It was the dead person's bed. But it was a sleep number, like a and placenta, it came with right? two sleep number remotes. Mm. What do you think I paid for a sleep king size sleep number bed with two remotes? What do you think I paid for that? The remotes so well. By the way. remotes yeah. sell for seventy five bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. So what do you think I paid? At an at an estate sale or yes, what was estate, it? Estate, not yard. Estate sale. Uh, if you probably like they're probably asking a lot. Eight hundred. I mean, they, it should be worth thousands, but probably like eight hundred. Four hundred. One hundred fifty bucks. 
No way. What? 150 bucks. I was like, I got to I mean, for that price, yeah. That's like why we bought the Spider-Man. Yeah, it it's just like, why not? It's like, like, I can I'm sell not the remotes. Leave it. If, if I don't like it, I'll just get my money back by selling the remotes. Problem solved. Like, so I bought a TV. Matter of fact, see, I went to a Friday sale up to Lake. So I've been finding these is the only one out there. And I really kind of screwed that up, but that's a different story. So, I mean, I made money off it, but I could have made a lot of money if I was there 10 minutes earlier. Yeah. I bought a TV. Jess said she's moving into an apartment, and she's got a little boy and whatever. She's like, he needs a TV and plays video games. I'm like, okay, I'll find you one. And so I did, 35 bucks, and it had an Apple TV with the remote next to it, and some of those go for good money. And so I'm like, I'll buy it. I'll give her the TV. I'll sell the Apple remote and TV. And that, that sold like that for 50 bucks plus shipping, so I got a free TV too. Yeah, I mean, I like our bed was getting really long in the tooth. It was hurting both our backs. So, and you know, it's a very good bed. It's like you said, it's a three, four thousand dollar bed. Yeah. I got it for hundred fifty bucks. And everything's so, working on it. Works good. great. And... Yeah, I slept great. Nice. I, I woke up. There with no was back a dead pain. person, <laughs> like probably three to four it weeks ago. It probably is haunted. It's yeah, probably it may... haunted. Dude, talk mm. about a hallmark movie opportunity right there. The haunted yeah, bed. The haunted mm. bed. Can I tell you something really satisfying happened at one of these uh, estate sales or not estate sales, community sales? that this weekend right so i go to a community sale same one i got the air maze you know bracelet right mm -hmm. and i get there and i see ahead of me like he's he definitely got there really early and he's at every sale before me one of the flea market vendors carry that uh. is always overpriced always yeah. overpriced you've met him he, he sells mostly toys and stuff he's really high he's a nice guy but he's very expensive he sells mostly toys and, and vintage items he sells everything oh uh, kevin's watching something he's um scary. <clears throat> but anyways he? Uh, either way, I was picking behind him, and right after he left the sale, I got the Tony Llamas boots. I got a hundred dollar pair of Harley's. I got all the fishing reels that I'll make like four hundred bucks on. I got the Air Maze wrist uh, thing. It was very satisfying to pick behind the flea market guy that tries to overcharge me and just pull mm -hmm. thousands out right after him. And I was like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's and it's really just, cool. But I Let think it's because he's hyper focused on toys, which well, brings. I've you never know, seen you buy much jewelry, Dave. So what made you get into the? Jen. Like, what, what, what? Jen. Yeah, okay. what Jen was. That's I, I, I try. Get. My thing now is like every time someone comes and picks with me, I'm trying takes to their learn their superpowers. I'm yeah. trying. So I've learned MCM from Dawn a little bit, and I'm starting to get really good at that. Not, you don't know nothing about cards, except you did buy a pack of the the Iceman cards. So Dude, this guy at the community those. sale, Carrie, had. Uh, the full set, it was a ton of cards of uh, all graded, all graded nines, eights and nines, I think they were. Uh, but they were like reprints of 1950s cards uh, from the 90s. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's top, Tops yeah. Archives. Right. Tops, yeah, Tops Archives. So they looked like 50s cards. They were all graded. And he had a mark like PSA 10 was 10 bucks. And PSA or PSA nine was ten bucks. PSA ten uh, eight was six bucks or something. Nobody cares. And I re I figured that's even that's not worth it. So I didn't buy yeah, them. Not. But I don't. Okay. I, I was like, I hope this wasn't something. That's I That's probably bought. about what they're worth. Listen, probably if you're gonna probably. learn something, Dave, learn. Yeah. learn. There's a, a big learning curve in cards, especially if you're not a card sports guy, wouldn't you say, Carrie? Oh yeah, you gotta I really mean, like huge, sports. Huge. But I will say this: you're going to get into sports because you just today alone. You've yeah. added three cards to your Blake Bortles collection. You don't know it nice. yet, but I picked up nice. this weekend. I picked up three cards. I got I got Tim over the years picking up cards for you. Uh, out there. I the biggest I'm not even joking. Ever. That's the only guy. I'm not even joking. When I see autographs and like real expensive, because you can get it so cheap now, because he sucks. Uh, yeah. You know, he probably is doing great as, as like I don't know, like selling cars or. Well, doing he's doing insurance. the portal thing. Yeah, he's, like he's portals, mostly portals. doing portals at the moment. But <laughs> I'm gonna. You're gonna have a massive portals uh, collection. I let me get in hold Jacksonville on. area it's before perfect. you move on to your craziness here. So I, Sorry. I was just gonna say, if you're gonna spend time learning something, especially down where you're at, Dave, learn. You can learn jewelry a lot faster. I mean, just yeah. simple stuff, sterling and gold, and I think you would it would pay Dude, you. Dude, that's what I really need. Huge to learn, right? Yeah. So like, <clears throat> how do I know if something's sterling or gold? That's you the lick question. It. Something about magnets. Something's about no, magnets, well, right? Sort but of. I, I don't know. Magnet Everything's so only, magnetic. Magnets only eliminate something from being gold or silver. If it That's is all. magnetic or if it is not? If it's magnetic, it's not worth it. Not okay. worth it. Okay. Now it could be plate or whatever. So once you get like past Miriam that Haskell level, or something. I would get you. I, I should send you a little loop and a little magnet. I, well, I bought a loop. I bought a loop after Jen came. I don't know. I found two gold. That's when you know you've done this. That's when you know you're an old guy at a at a swap meter yard sale. When you carry a loop around, <laughs> no, start talking listen. about 
grams. It's in my fanny pack. It's in the front pocket of my fanny pack. Exactly. I got a black Don't light that in guy. there. You need a Commonwealth picker pack. I, I should do black that. I should put... Too. I should put the the magnet. Don't, the, the don't loop, put it on the, the bed. You don't want to know. Package. Yeah, the bed. You need that. You know, for Kevin, the bed. that's not a bad idea. Go over to Alibaba or AliExpress no, and buy no, a thousand no. blacklight flashlights, no. a thousand merchandise. Yes. Yeah, yes. and then sell them as a bundle, well, listen, like the yeah. picker bundle. Yeah, no doubt. Matter of fact, Tim over the years gives away a little. I don't have my a box here. resizer. That's not been no, done before. No, never. Yeah. So, but he has this little one. You could get this a little one. It's a keychain. It's Tim on does key have chain. a little one, mm-hmm. right? Uh, <laughs> what? Fully Joking. functional. Oh, Fully boy. functional. Right. It's fine. Oh, oh can I goodness. tell you about Chris Flip the World's wiener tattoo for a minute? Yes. Yeah. Let's talk. Or did about you his want wiener. to finish your tattoo. point? Finish your point, Kevin. Then I, I'll tell you. I mean, how do you follow that? I mean, but seriously. <laughs> We Just don't go. talk enough about it. Go ahead. Well, all I know is that he has one, and he said that you cannot get one unless you're at attention. You are you cannot get a tattoo down there unless you're oh. doing what Kevin can no longer do. Who would get it? To, why would? Dude, dude. <laughs> this is interesting. And so that's congratulations, Chris. I would have. This is this is over the line for this the podcast. The pain, the pain, the pain. I feel like would make it retreat. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But anyway, no, what were you wouldn't saying? you learn? Wouldn't wouldn't you learn a lot about yourself if it didn't though? Wouldn't you learn a lot about yourself? What, that you're like a masochist. You're and like, you're like, yeah, you would learn something. <laughs> you know, like, you'd be like, you would, yeah. You'd be like, yeah. Hey, Wolfman Goodies wrote in on the Patreon yeah. and said, "What is the most expensive vinyl record you have ever sold?" Let's see. Who do you think sold the most expensive record out of the three of us, Carrie? Might I've be done you. good. I've done yeah, good. Probably not you. me. Probably not me. I can't even remember. I can't. So it can't be that. I can definitely Carrie, what's around, your best one? I'm trying to think. I definitely sold back in the day before I met Don. I think I would. I sold like the Kiss. You know the the Kiss albums when they were by themselves though. Yes. Like the the, the mm-hmm. I I think I sold those for around ninety five. And I think I've done mm. like a hundred twenty, hundred thirty on some older rock ones. But that was I, I can, don't remember offhand to be honest. I can tell you the best record buy I ever had because Dave was with me. I was there and you sniped it right mm-hmm. out from under me. Yeah. No, Monster. I didn't. I was Monster. trying to walk slow. That I day. was gonna buy it, but I yeah. didn't see it, which means you stole yeah. it from me. <laughs> exactly. You not only does dibs dibs means Dave gets it, but you also yep. have to know yep. what his dibs are gonna be. Even yeah. If he doesn't Before say I them. say them, yeah, you should have known that Dave wants. You know, when when you're at a yard sale with me, <laughs> Dude, if there's something good, it's mine. I, I found it. Records are tough. They're yeah, extremely. I, they late. just they are sit here. They just sit here. I've got six boxes mm-hmm. full sitting on the mm-hmm. ground. For it's the last because you bought. 600 uh Sell them on albert and the tia want oh, brass go. albums that's a good that's, idea maybe i should that's put what them we need day. listen we'll do a we'll do a media day and that's we'll promote good. it and it'll be nothing but cassettes and records and dollar a record tracks. i don't even freaking care vhs anymore. take them all right you okay. guys were uh, doing it. Let's so do kevin it. your best individual record what are you thinking 40 60 so, uh, probably in the 60 matter of fact from that one right there and i can't remember there were a few really good um led zeppelin ones i think i got around like i mean that's 75 that's really 70. what it is right you should be looking for like 70s and 80s rock and rap like 80s and listen 90s. i got a vinyl guy that watches my channel has stuff. for years has for years and yeah, always tells stuff. me always tells me that resale rabbit is like the greatest reseller ever and i should be more like him and i'm like dude and he's like why don't you get a there's no more kmarts like, to buy no. out he bought them all out and they're but, gone yeah, I'm like I don't want to do that, but I get it, right? So fine. So he always he always comments on the record stuff that I go through, and he's like, "You're buying the wrong records. You're buying the wrong records, and you so should what get are the this right stuff." Ones? He's like, "The stuff nobody's ever heard of is the right one." So I'm like, "Well, how am I supposed to know that? I mean, I mean, how am I? You've you never know? heard of them, yeah." So yeah. I've recently, I recently sold the Main, which is a new band. That's a, a pretty yeah. new new yeah, band. Yeah, you saw, 2014, I saw you. 2014 sold that for 130. Uh, back in the day when I first started my Flipper channel, I found, uh, I, I looked it up, Larry Goodman Monster Rapping, Layla and Dr. Dre, 1985. So it was like OG oh, Dre. Oh, there you go. Sold that for 400 400 well, did, that doc, Dr. Dre wasn't around. That was a different guy, but yeah. Oh, well, listen. He's, he's, he's not the West Coast Dr. Uh, Dr. It says Dr. Dre. Dr. Dr. Dre. Uh, I don't think it's yes. the West Coast. I think there was I a different one. I think it was. No, was Dr. There? Dre, I don't think, was making records in 1985. I could be wrong. Somebody, somebody check that. Listen, wrong. some of the I best be. records and the best cassette tapes are all hit. Matter of fact, I got a bunch I bought off a guy, and I've never processed Dre them. I in need the to early sell them 80s. over there. Yes. All yes. right, Dave, we're going to do it. He performed as a hip-hop DJ, uh, oh. part of the NWA, yeah. 1986. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that well, that was before that, though. 
No, no it says early 80s, it says. Well, yeah. Yeah. Dr. Oh, okay. Dre's been around. Easy e and Dr. Dre, all 1985, those he released a record. Yeah. Yeah. Two so this is one of his that, This is one of his and... first ever records, which is why. And it was only, a, it only had two songs on it, I think. And it sold for. So that was one where, like, some guy was shill bidding just to screw me over because I was talking about it on my Flipper channel and he just kept bidding because I was excited about it. Yeah, and he yeah. bid it up to 800 and then he wouldn't pay. And then he bid it up again mm -hmm. to like 700. And finally a viewer reached out and said, listen, I'll give you 400. And mm -hmm. you don't even have to put it on eBay. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I just sold it mm -hmm. off site basically. So Why'd you put it on eBay? Why did I put a record on eBay? Well, if a viewer caught four hundred dollars, you just gave up. A well, whole he didn't. Bunch. No, I didn't. The viewer I, didn't until... I didn't. No, no, no. The viewer bought it after the eBay sh shenanigans, and I after just he paid me PayPal. Times of... And I just sent oh, it to okay. him. Off, All right, off gotcha, site. Gotcha. Off. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's what I. See, meant. if that's eBay sponsors us, we can't we can't even say that, right? If eBay sponsors no, us, we're that's not allowed not to illegal. say any other people anymore. That's we not only illegal. No, because if somebody found contacts me video, you on eBay, then you need to sell it on eBay. Yeah, if he gets that's that's the truth. Don't don't ever if you're ever wanting to talk to to like Kevin or Dave or me, um, don't don't do it on like whatnot or yeah. EBay. Don't do it on whatnot because I turned off my whatnot message. Oh, don't hey. do it on Instagram because I don't look at those. Don't do it on YouTube because you know I'm probably not going to. There's wanna, no you wanna, way to contact you want to text you. Dave and you want to text <laughs> Dave at this you number. You want to text Rod picking and punching <laughs> on Instagram right. and you want to text Dave, Dave at this number and I'm <laughs> going to give you That's, Kevin's number. You want to get a hold of Kevin to get Dave's number. Dave has employees that he hires. Yeah. For Rod this. and Tina filter my messages for me. Thank well, you, Rod. Rod does it really? Well, because Here... me and him are in so many videos together that people mm -hmm. are constantly writing him for me. <laughs> so, listen, I've had that go same thing with with Death Death Pile and me. Yeah. But listen, so I, I hired Jess. So Jess dot Commonwealth Picker at Gmail dot com. If you are interested in selling out a collection. I'm going to see how I'm going to go. Common, why don't you get an at commonwealthpicker.com? You can do that. You can get your domain. You <sighs> don't mind. Dude, could I have an email with your name too? Like Carrie. Sure. Yeah, I want Carrie.com. Yeah, that'd be good. One of those. <laughs> Dude, but listen, just email me about Kevin, whatever. The complaints. problem. Okay, can I tell you? I'm going to tell you the problem right now, Kevin. Okay. And this is serious. It's like business day for a minute. Business, Doing business it that time. way means that literally Wayne. Mm -hmm. Wayne.commonwealthpicker at Gmail could yeah. go create that right now and he could pretend he's part of your employees. And he could message people and say, hey, I work with Commonwealth Picker. So you okay. really should spend the money to get an at CommonwealthPicker.com. You can okay. do it through G Gmail. You can do it through Google. And it's not expensive. Okay. So you okay. should do it right. Yeah, it could be anybody. Because otherwise, right. like, right now, as I said this, the Bearded Lemoncello already has the email. Yeah, it could be <laughs> diarrhea.commonwealthpicker. But people already do that. And listen, well, who's going to really fake? Because somebody could still do that after the fact, right? They could still yeah, make that. But it wouldn't be an at commonwealthpicker.com because you own it. I got that. that but that's I only, all. you know, I mean, but I, you can I'm only just saying, so if much. you keep scaling and become millionaire, a millionaire, well, listen, Kevin, then you're going to Oh, so you're this. admitting I'm not. Finally, I'm getting this out of Dave today. That joke is Half old that you're rich. We all know you're okay. broke. <laughs> so <laughs> we all know the Let's truth. start that one. <laughs> his cocaine habit it. has taken all this money. <laughs> Dude, I had to look up that whole, what did you call speedballing cocaine? What, what was that? You used some oh, weird yeah, drug yeah. term um, last week that I had never heard before. Kevin laughed at it, pretended he didn't know I have no was. recollection of most anything that happened last week. But, I mean, I guess, <laughs> the, yeah, look, listen, if you've lived a life like I have on the edge, like I used to listen to this. Yeah, right. Back in 1994, when I was 10, I'd play Road Rash on PS1, Dave. And sometimes yeah. it was nine. It was nine, maybe 10 p.m. at night, and I'd do it. You'd do what? The cocaine? And I'd, I would play Road Rash, and maybe I was 10. I didn't have cocaine money. Then. <laughs> You don't have cocaine now either, I don't think. I don't have cocaine money now. That is true. Also, well, don't have cocaine. I looked it up. I was trying to find it. Did I send that to you, Kev? I sent you the description of his like weird drug yes. term he used. That I was yes. shocked. Did I, I, I send what it was? It was too? speedball. No, it was not speedball though, was it? It was. Uh, no, it was something else. You were very. You were very. Oh, it was freebase. 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 Yeah, free yeah that was one I'd never That's heard. That's what it was. Freebasing. Free yeah. yeah. So. Freebase. You, you <laughs> and Dave that looked it up. Through. Like we all learned. I was very curious. I was <laughs> like, That's one thing, dude. That? Yeah. There's what. Listen, guys. You listen to the Trash to Cash podcast. We're not gonna pe We're not gonna tell you to come meet us out by the dumpster and everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> we're gonna teach you about freebasing. I have a question because, like, back in the '80s in Kevin's day, Kevin's. a long pinky nail was like a cocaine thing. Yeah, but that's not yeah, really a thing anymore. It's Kevin, not a thing anymore. Kevin, back in the old days, Ke Kevin, Opium. back in the old days, when you're walking down the street, back in the old days, was it just cardboard boxes everywhere and people spinning around on their heads, and then people doing like <laughs> BMX 
jump tricks. <laughs> Listening to the fake Dr. Dre, according to Carrie. Yeah, fake there was Dr. a little bit of that. There's, so, there's, you know, lots of hacky tears for fears. When I got older, you know. Well, okay, so my question for the Greeks is I have a friend who's Greek, and he has a very long pinky nail. <laughs> Definitely not a drug guy at all. I was just curious, and I, apparently it's part of then Greek culture. Then why did culture. you even bring it up? It's why a part of Greek culture, Greek? and I'm okay. wondering if there's a reason, if any Greeks are in the audience, could tell me why, like, what does well, that mean? Why do I don't they know if it's, long fingernails? I don't know if it's Greek or not. I know other ancient cultures that would practice that, and it was a sign that they were too wealthy, that they would use their brain for their for their income, and they didn't do any manual labor. Same oh. thing with the foot, foot binding for women. Really? They would do that. They were so wealthy. It was so a it could sign be of a prosperity. Status. He is very wealthy. All I know, so it could be. All that. I know is, I go back. If I go back to ancient Rome, I can't drink the water because there's lead. There's lead in the water, and it'll go crazy. <laughs> it's true. And, and also, I've got to stay away from Pompeii. Listen, in so general. Calig Caligula. Caligula. Let's talk there about you it. Go. That's why you go. Let's get in depth. Caligula. Little what boots. happened there, Kev? Was he in the the mummy with Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Caligula was no. in the mummy. <laughs> There was a little bit of explain uh, to West us what Virginia explain explain to Dave what Caligula was. Dude, you know what's so bad is like <laughs> Kevin, so he'll understand. <laughs> I, I don't Little know what dudes. that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I will say like <laughs> Google it, Google it, Dave. After the, after the podcast, Google Caligula. <laughs> I it's listened a person. to a lot of reselling yeah, podcasts is. this week. It is a person. You're right. And we are officially the <laughs> least reselling based reselling podcast <laughs> out there. No, no one compares. No one has this little reselling content. It's our base control. is more. Our base is it's more free. Well, yeah, what have you base. sold, Dave? What have you sold? <laughs> well, before we what do that, sold, I... let's talk eBay. Okay, fine. Uh, let's talk, talk what not. I let's talk, talk about what Poshmark. Well, let me Poshmark. say something about Mercari. Clothing. So, so I want to know what your Mercari Gosh, sales, I'm getting you know, so whatever. many freaking returns on Mercari. But go really? On. Yes. Seriously? I've already got two in progress. Yeah. Oh, so you were wrong about this, that this wasn't an all bright and wonderful thing. Well, yeah, you it were certainly wrong. is motivating Dave was wrong. Returns. Sounds like a good but, title. This how many episode. returns but have you got before this? Neither of those returns have actually sent them back yet. And it does seem like Mercari is going to cancel the returns if the people don't send them back soon. Yeah. So there's so, a very, it's only 72 hours that you can send it back or something like that. Why don't you I have did... the on air thing on? You're on air. Batteries died and I'm not buying more. Okay. <laughs> Dude, listen so i got messages from i did a mercari video late of course but i did a good one Welcome i think party but it well it was it was a good video day did it had points that last longer than a week so i got two messages from people that said that their entire reselling model was mercari to amazon and it's really really handicapped them mercari with these new amazon. changes mm -hmm. what does that mean they're buying on mercari selling yeah, like Amazon? like 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 our buddy who buys from you and sells on Amazon. Oh, uh, okay. Daily you know? No, uh, no. What's his name? He's a Reagan Profit. Reagan, Reagan Profit. Profit. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, but they they would source on Mercari, sell on on Amazon, and they're like, now I've got to pay this fee and all these things on top of it. He's like, it's making it really really tough. So he's got to find a new. I mean, he said does a little. It's eBay like, it's like at this point, too. at this point, like they're gonna have to get real jobs. It sounds like. Well, listen, they should source. Look at it. This seven hundred dollar sale over there on Divid. Did you see what it was? Forty nine uh, rings. There's a ton of resale value one off on those things. Maybe maybe that person could go Divid. To because there's good buys dipped it to 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 uh Amazon. Tiquity? I don't know. That would be Tiquity. Dib, Tiquity dib, to Dibwit to Amazon. To dib wit. Yes. <laughs> so let me let me uh let's see. Can I show you this? Yes. Uh, yes, you can. Hold on. How come it's not showing? Hey, Midwest you? Picker says I paused a UFO video to be here. This a better UFO? be valuable. We know. should hey, talk Midwest a little Picker. bit about UFOs. Okay. Oh, I like UFOs. Ooh, I like UFOs. What's this one? They're not Kathleen. identified. Kathleen the Fernway Flipper I'll just do says, it this way. 98 minutes of Kevin holding back what he really wants to say and letting out an exasperated mmm. Yeah. You should hear it you should you should hear the the first five minutes after the podcast where Kevin just lets loose. <laughs> well, so Arts what did you really want to say, Kevin? What did you really want to J say? J Ride. I said it all this episode. J Ride says, I now feel extremely motivated. Motivated. Thank you. Yeah. You did I put I didn't watch the end. Did you put all of the end? Did you put both of them in there? Both of my Jake Ryder motivation videos? Uh, yeah, Dude, I put them both in there, yeah. The okay. people loved it, by the way, Carrie. They love you. They yeah. love you. Yeah, which is weird. Like, we don't yeah. actually mean Kevin don't really get it. Yeah, I'm kind of the, completely honest. I'm kind of just here. It's more you two and just me just showing up like kind of a third wheel. So I can't seem to get this to work, but I wanted to share my screen. Either way, I'll just tell you. I just sold tell a us, camera. like the old days. Do, I sold do, a like, camera art. on Mercari, okay? okay. And 
<laughs> I sold it for two thirty nine ninety nine, which is a good sale. Two hundred forty bucks for a Nikon camera. Um, service fee was fourteen thirty nine, so that's two fifty four. Delivery was thirteen fifty. Mercari shipping is so dumb. They it's need to stupid. get a ground advantage. It's so expensive. Stupid. Ridiculous. Payment processing fee was eight seventy five. Tax was sixteen seventy four. So they did end up paying like two eighty for this two hundred forty dollar camera. And I do think it would be good if Mercari at least put that like. You know, like Airbnb, it says it's 134 a night, but then it ends up being like 190 a night. Well, they've cleaning. started yes. actually. Putting and then you the have to like paint their it. house before yeah. you leave and wash all the clothes and do the yeah, dishes. Yeah, exactly. Like, you have to. Like, I riot against that, by the way. I'm the worst Airbnb guest. Put but but wood my point floor. is like, I think Mercari needs a little thing like 239.99 is the camera price. Total after everything, right below it, 283. Like, just so people know before they click through that they're not going to... You can click through. It's just a pain. It would be nice if it was a little more transparent, I, I think. But this all leads up to the big eBay change. Okay? Everyone's freaking okay. out about the big yeah. eBay Yeah. Oh, we didn't what even get that. We haven't They've even gotten got a video remember. yet. Dude, uh, it's a... Did you make a video? No, not good. I, I did. I did. No, mine's for tomorrow. Uh, so it'll be out by the time this comes out, and I, I give my opinion opinion there. So I will just tell you guys, and you give me your opinion. Okay, how about that? I'm doing the Commonwealth picker. Uh, <laughs> so, Carrie, this is what happened. Do you know how eBay does this thing where you can either have retail rates for shipping, or you can have your discounted rate displayed? Uh, so you can change um, what's displayed that, as the shipping. Well, you can. Yeah, that's an option. Okay. So, like, if you're Carrie, selling seriously. <laughs> it Dude, did you think I knew that? I mean, think so, about it. Did you're you selling this tape that? measure. Okay, you're selling this tape measure. I honestly didn't pound. know. It's a pound. You're going to ship it ground advantage. Your retail rate's going to display when someone goes to buy it that it's $12, if, if, yeah. right? Let's say. If you should do calculated. Yeah, if you do calculated. I don't do calculated. Shipping. That's why. There, there you go. Ever? Who does calculated? <laughs> he just over What do you do, flat rate? You know how Don does rate. the shipping. I do, <laughs> like free shipping on, I do free like... shipping on cards, and then Don just picks a number. <laughs> And yeah. like okay, just goes, well, 20 okay. bucks, that's good. Which is ridiculous. If you do calculated, which most people do calculated. Most people do calculated. It'll say like 12 bucks for prior or for ground advance. I right? don't believe that so, most people do calculated, on. by the way. Just okay. for the Ooh, really? I don't right. believe that. I, th I think most people don't. I, and they're completely confused. I think that most resellers right who now. watch reselling content, most of them probably don't. The vast majority of eBay resellers do. Oh, we're talking like just like regular people, or like I want to sell like an old oven mitt, and they're just normal people. Vast majority, I guarantee. It. Anyway, go ahead, tell your story, Dave. Uh, um. So basically, <laughs> calculated it would be twelve bucks. Okay, so you can comment below. I don't really care if you do calculated shipping, but either way, it definitely affects a lot of comment people. Comment down below and uh, say the fifty right for. Thing. You know, I, it's more than 50% are doing calculated. That's no, my opinion, I but, disagree. I think it's uh, less than 30. Dave is right. <laughs> I am right. <laughs> okay. You're anyway. so wrong about being right. <laughs> Carrie didn't even know. So, Carrie, whatever. But when you go to shipping. I'm just very. When you go this to shipping. matters you, to me a lot, guys. Have, so please <laughs> let us know down below. Let I me ask you this. I don't Carrie, care about Carrie what needs... Dave's about to say. It doesn't matter. Carrie I don't even care background. if you believe it. I don't even care if you believe it. Just say I'm right. Have you say ever that. in your entire life used calculated shipping? One time. Maybe once. Okay, so have you ever accidentally earned a little more money on that shipping? Because they charged them 12 I, I and it only cost you 8. I would never do that, personally. But but you've heard of that happening. <laughs> You're making this very hard. Yes, <laughs> yes. I've happen. earned more okay. than what they paid yes, me. That's for my handling, you. by That's, the way. I okay. handle it. That's when fine. I make extra, I'll rock it sometimes and just let so, it know I love it. Before what I they it. have done is, okay, and you have this option in eBay, which you were unaware of, whatever. A lot of people know Wait, about eBay. it. eBay. What's that? <laughs> you have this option to, hold on. I think I can fix this. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you have this option <laughs> to uh, display the retail rate or the discounted rate. Okay, and most people do the retail rate. Not so just can... display it, but to actually charge it. Charge it and just display. For the record, yeah, charge yeah. it and display. So I a while back changed to show my discounted rate. So I already show my discounted rate. But eBay is forcibly changing all calculated shipping listings to the discounted rate, thereby like changing everyone's business model if they add in a little margin for the shipping, which a lot of people do. So basically without consent they're just going to do this you can opt out yeah you can opt out but they didn't like ask you first they just are going to lower your shipping costs on everything to their discounted rate which a lot of times is wrong and ends up costing you money when you go to ship stuff that's happened to me several times mm -hmm. uh and i don't know people are pretty upset well, about it. rockstar maybe, has probably made six videos about it by maybe now. it's wrong maybe you know, when you went to, when you went to calc when you actually packaged it and did it, and it was changed slightly the different. numbers slightly yeah, yeah. different 
Yeah. Yeah, but most people like when you show the retail rate, it's covered, right? The extra two inches well, or whatever. Well, here's my problem. You can. Uh, it's Carrie's unmuted. Don't. He's tell unmuted. Me. So, He's what I use because <laughs> I only do calculated on on a few items, bigger yeah. type items that I just don't want to have an accident happen to California or something. And so for me, the way I dealt with that in the past was I would reduce the size of that item and reduce the weight of that item, so I still had a cushion built in to make a little extra. But so now if I was opted into that and didn't opt out of it, then I would really get it. I'd get hammered on that stuff because I had reduced that stuff. Don't you think the problem, though, is that like by eBay doing this, every single listings price is going to go down. So if you opt out, you're now the most expensive in the market because everyone well, else without even realizing it, yes. they didn't see the email. They're yes. now cheaper than you. Yes. And it's going to be a, a vast majority. It's going to be a problem for a lot of resellers, in my opinion. I really think it is. Except for Kerry. But, but. And his what? 80% who do flat rate. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, I'm thoroughly zoned out. Go ahead. Continue. Look, I'm doing flat Listen, rate. If you, guys so... want, if you want to listen to this podcast, go for it, guys. <laughs> and, you know, so opt out of it if y'all want to. But the, the other option is to leave the items that you have listed and, and opt into it. There's a bunch of options, obviously. Go to flat yeah. rate, which would be a great idea. But. If, if you leave those options in, or if, if, if you opt into this thing, let's say, okay, then what you do is leave those older items and let that opt in and let that old merchandise sell. But as you're listing new ones, list it with a higher selling price because your shipping price is now lower and you're fine. Well, I don't understand flat rate, carry at all, because if you're going to do flat rate, why not just do free shipping and price the item twelve bucks higher? What you would I do flat rate? Flat you don't do flat rate, Dave. Why would you? You can just price the item that much more and do free shipping. So you do calculated shipping. Everything, yes. Really? But I, I'm not, I want you to explain it. Like, how is flat rate any better really? than just doing free shipping at twelve bucks? Because more? you open up your marketplace to the entire country. Yeah, but then why not just do free shipping and just price it that? You much can higher? do it that way too. You can do it that way too. But Carrie has like a whole motto about no. not doing free shipping. Here's oh, what look, I do. There's I, 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 I add $12 and then I still do plus shipping on top of that. Listen, there's other bad things with the free shipping. <laughs> How's your sell through? <laughs> not good. I haven't sold anything in weeks. <laughs> there's other bad, thing, other bad things that go along with the free shipping, including you're, you don't have the option to take away the shipping. Like I had a guy send something back to me that i can't remember it was a stupid reason that like i just didn't want it or something like that like i didn't give that guy that shipping back no way like this is like a topic the reseller island but you can't be do that about or you something. can't this do is far that. too boring for us and i really like the balance of a slightly lower price and a very very competitive shipping rate i think psychologically you get more sales with that but there's an argument for getting more sales with free shipping and the higher in the algorithm and all that stuff i just I, my i but with crylock does any return, of this even matter other than the return thing no no carry i thought you Crylog stopped doing free difference. shipping day you I just like two I weeks don't do ago i do calculated i do calculated and i, I do, do both i do free okay. shipping on yeah. cards and uh, plus shipping on everything but else not not calculated because cal i'm not a calculated sociopath. just reduces the pool of buyers i used to do all calculated mostly calculated shipping and i still do a little bit of calculated shipping but you're in florida so i kind of get it other but... than the returns i just don't see how flat rate and free are different i, I okay. really don't okay see it. so at least you'll agree that it doesn't matter that i do flat rate no i think it's the same as free <laughs> i think it's fine okay. it's the same thing it's okay. it's just a different way to put i mean it makes the will... sticker price look lower that's all it does but then i when don't understand do like... you get one 260 dollar bear sale and we're supposed to listen to you about reselling now <laughs> well i got the 240 dollar <laughs> camera sale too uh, no i wouldn't so I got I that. never mind got, i'm listening and i'm I now sold... listening my and bad. Let I me stole, get my notes app out. Yeah, get your get your little notes app. I sold the two hundred forty dollar, fifteen dollar Red Bull cooler. I sold a hundred dollar tater bin that I found without Don's help. <laughs> I'm I'm doing the carry. Take credit for Don's finds. I found this tater bin. <laughs> yes, I sold it. Don did not yes, help me. Did. <laughs> no, so no. How, you you suffer from the same same thing I suffer from. Your good yeah. sales are also from Don. From Don, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, Don found I had a guy who opened up a return on me there. So he bought, what did he buy? Oh, he bought a golf rangefinder from me. Mm -hmm. And it was going to Washington, right? And so it's ground advantage. So I ship it out. I, I shipped it out. It was a two-day, I have two-day shipping. And I did ship it out. Not that, I shipped it out in two days. And he sends me a message and says, hey, 
you know, this is 10 days later and it still hasn't arrived yet. I bought it from Amazon and it showed up in two days. You can expect a return. <laughs> I'm like, golly, dude, what do you, <laughs> you think I'm Amazon? You think that Amazon is doing this? I don't, I don't quite get it. But so now I have to do a return. So ground advantage right now and tell me down below, guys. It's really, really slow. All of my ground advantage is really? going slow. All of it. I'm looking at I'm like, holy moly. What, what used and to in show up answer, in two days is now four. And in your answer about how slow ground advantage is, also remember to tell them that calculated, nobody does calculated shit. Listen, no I can but promise you, <laughs> listen, I guarantee you there's not that many people calculated in this audience the who default. do free shipping. Yeah, it's I think calculated is the default when you like list stuff. It's just what happens. It is. By the way, Carrie, I, I did a you like apparently Sam's Club sells boxes cheaper yeah. than Walmart. So they, and Wait. also uh, bubble wrap. Yeah, well, the bubble wrap's great because it comes with a big old box that I can ship uh, Red Bull cool. Also, oh here's gosh. the thing about Sam's Club because I used to work returns at Sam's Club. You could just return anything, whatever. You could sleep yeah. on a Once mattress. Once the bubble for wrap seven roll years. is empty, I'm returning it. You could sleep on a mattress for seven years. They'll give you a new freaking mattress. It's like the, like the people who get a lawnmower at Walmart every year and bring it back the, yeah, the yeah, day before they bought it. Exactly. I had people bring, because oh I worked gosh. at the returns area, I had people bring it back rotten fish. And I'm like, you can just take a picture of it. I believe yeah, you. Yeah, I don't really I don't, want it. I don't really want rotten fish here while I'm working. But thank I you. saw So I saw Don bragging about a bunch of good sales. What yeah. Did you uh, want to talk about any of those sales? That uh, any of Don's sales? <laughs> <laughs> you want to brag about any of Don's sales, Let's Gary? do Don's sales segment yeah don so <laughs> i gotta get that's all don does that's all our chat is with don is just her mm. bragging and then making fun of kevin a lot too i hear she sold a tiffany style stained glass she does make hat. fun of me she does make fun of you it's, she does it out of love she loves I mean, all of me but you. listen listen y'all i just want you all to know don lady arbitrage expose right here she will charge you 19.99 to ship a plush <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> I'm like, no, that costs like eight bucks. I'm like, because she's bragging about no, her sales, which are amazing. Have you ever? She's a very good picker, far better than Carrie. Have but you seen her shipping, she'll... though? She, like, bubble wraps it and then puts, like, a wood crate around it, then boxes it. It's not cheap. <laughs> It's not a bit. She sold a Tiffany <laughs> style glass bobblehead cat nightlight. We just got a couple days ago. We paid. She paid fifteen. We paid fifteen. Sold for seven dollars. Carrie, I sold something that you and Don left here a couple weeks ago, and I forgot to tell you about it. I don't know what it was, but dude, if if she inflates the price of an item by twenty dollars for shipping, was it right? Couldn't she have just priced the item twenty dollars higher and done free yes. shipping? Yeah. This yes. This is the part I'm so confused about. Yes. Flat rate. I just don't yes. get it. But uh, it, the answer we don't, is yes, we're not Dave, we're not a free shipping on normal stuff household. There are negatives only to on cars. If you in the search, if you look for lowest but there's price, there's positives to free shipping as well. There are positives to it. I'm just like saying, eBay it's promotes not like, those listings a little bit. Yeah, Psychological, man. Mm. If you have I don't an item, think, I don't care yeah. if it's half the price. If you're if you're if you're doing calculated shipping, I'm going to pay double if it's free. All right, here's the real question. Here's the real question. Maybe why would eBay do it? That's the real question. Because Do now what? they're getting Who why is would this whole change this thing? Change? Because why? they're getting a less they're scared of, a of Mercari. Percentage. Yeah, Mercari's think... coming out. No, that's Mercari's think... about to get a half mm -hmm. of one half of one percent of the market share. I was nope. thinking Mercari's prices have all just went up like ten percent and now eBay's prices are all about to go down six percent. Yeah. Like eBay's gonna look Not way more all attractive. Of them. Well, Not all, all the people of doing them. calculated. Not all the people doing calculated. All the people doing calculated who don't opt out. That's not even it's counting. Be a lot of people who don't. That's opt not out. even totally counting everybody agree. who's I selling totally stuff on but whatnot for ten percent of, of eBay value. The answer is Amazon. The answer is Amazon. Okay. Because people Explain. just like this guy, they know they're on Prime and they get the free shipping and it's going to show up like that. They already know. So you've got for you to go to eBay first. Check eBay first. Hashtag. There needs to be a discount. And with all the promoted listings, it's caused, and every you know, eBay's promoting promoting listings for everybody, and so people don't just eat the cost of that; they raise their prices on stuff. Everybody who I talk to who who does promoted listing at Standard or whatever, they all jack their prices up to do that. And now eBay isn't the bargain place to get your stuff, so it's a matter of being competitive in price point in the marketplace. That's why mm. eBay did it. Why don't they just get rid of the promoted listing thing and they they'd accomplish the same task? The answer is because there's money in it. Mm. No, this is okay. 
Because why are you asking a question if you're just going to answer it? Yeah, and I was well, just because I wanted to educate you a little bit. Guys, Jeebus found a 200 pound jug of coins in a storage unit and cashed it in. <laughs> How much? But it's did not he true. Get? I watched it. It's clickbait. Yeah, Click right out. at the beginning it's of the video, it's actually a 200 like, pound no, right jug of urine. Of Right at the beginning of the video, he's like, oh, for the last seven years, I've been buying storage units. And every time I find change in one, I put it in cool, this though. jug. Listen. Every time I find, you know, I put it in this jug. So it was really from, like, thousands of storage units, not one. So it was a lie, Jeebus. And I'm very disappointed. But, but aren't, but every th time is an illusion and space and, and, and is I'm infinite. Listening. Everything so, is so, an illusion. Exactly. Period. So all the storage units really are just one universal storage unit. We're just here floating through them. No, no, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> just everybody just. Like, <laughs> he also had a yard sale, Kevin, where everything was a dollar. Yeah. And it was like all his death pile. <laughs> yeah. Well, so think about storage units, pile, right? So, oh my gosh, the, they have so much crap. Storage units are, are kind of popping back off on the on the on the YouTube's and stuff. So, but man, what what a job the storage unit stuff and whatnot is going. You know, those folks yeah. are doing just crazy good right now because I run everything it's just turning storage units. Well, but I'm just saying the actual people who yeah. do the storage units, I do the same. And that was crazy. That, that The other day I was watching these guys leading up to my show and whatnot, and they literally are selling something every 11 seconds. And it's decent money, not a eBay money, yeah. but they're selling something every 11 seconds. It's insane. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. It's crazy. I mean, and getting 40 50 bucks for, you know, $80, $90 shirt or something, but it's selling. Hey, I for just sure. sold something. I don't there's understand a lot to be said, though. There's a lot to be there, said. Though. Like, even if you're selling it at 60% eBay value or 50 or 70, whatever, they're selling everything, everything that's sellable. Yeah. And a lot of times with eBay, you're getting all this stuff like Dave's $600 haul or $6,000 haul. How much of that's actually going to sell on eBay? Like, yeah. every single item? Yeah. I mean, some yeah. of it's going to end up on whatnot probably at some point. Well, if point, it's Kevin, I mean, all of it, because they'll sell it to viewers on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Yeah, if you're if you are hey, doing if you're in a bizarre world like Kevin where you don't sell anything to anybody but viewers, yeah. That reminds me of something. So, have you ever sent a coupon out to all the people you're who follow a, your you're eBay crossing store? Something off your list. I did. I had a coupon on here. Uh -huh. <laughs> have you ever sent a coupon out to everybody? Why are you in doing this? Is the trash to cast podcast? Stop taking notes for it. And I take yes, notes I've sent out coupons, Kevin. Yes, yes, yes. I've sent coupons. Out. Good have? job, buddy. Yes. How did yes. it work? It worked fine, yeah. I sold got, a couple things. What ten thousand? It's not a great topic, but yeah, let's talk about yeah. it. I don't mean like send offers or send the coupon on yeah, it. I mean totally kill the vibe with the coupon talk. To... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a video. Of it. Yeah, I've sent I a coupon and it worked. I sold a couple items. I don't think I've done a coupon. Tell us more, Kevin. Yeah. Did you? Do I haven't done. Never done it. Oh, I okay. have a coupon, but it only gets sent to the people who I send offers to. Do you have any gray coupon? No. Pardon me. No. Pardon me. But I did order a cheeseburger. To, you, If you order a two cheeseburger combo, combo at McDonald's and then you ask them to take, you know, I do lettuce, ketchup, and mustard, they only do it for one of the cheeseburgers. Interesting. The Typically, every time I order something at McDonald's, I'm missing something. Sometimes it's the hamburger. Sometimes it's a bag. Craig McLaughlin <laughs> on Patreon said, what is the next bubble to burst? Meaning what item that has been hot will soon fizzle? Ooh, that's a good question. So, I like, like, okay, so he's referring to probably Funko. Or that is a great question. Well, I mean, that's question. one that's already bursting. I'd say I've like, done. Yeah. I've kind of talked about that a little bit lately on my videos. I'm trying to think of what the heck I said. So I'd squishmallows, right? I mean, yeah, squishmallows. They're maybe. starting to fade. You know, there was a, a there little. was a big drop in the in the medium to lower end hats. There was a pretty significant drop, or even yeah. some of the high end. And Squishmallows never and really stuff. sold for a ton over market either, so mm -hmm. I guess it can't be them. It's I'll tell you what's selling way over market, Carrie. What do you think? We're also thinking like we want to think of something that hasn't yet popped. That's yeah, actually hasn't booming popped, right yeah. now. Oh, mm. That's a really good question. Sports like, cards. Well, well, like here we go. Like with card, no, sports <clears throat> sports cards are already going down. They're going back down mm -hmm. to normal. But here's the thing. Like right now, what's super hot? I was at the card show. Is the TCG stuff. So not just Pokemon cards. Not just magic, but there's like One Piece. If you guys know One mm -hmm. Piece, the, the Disney the anime. game. No, One Piece is an anime. And no, it's but also, also an... the Disney game. I'm yeah, there's also Lorcana. Commentary, yeah. That stuff's pretty hot. I could see One Piece uh, probably going down over time. That that could mm. be something that it because it's so hot right now, like ridiculously. I, I got a I got a pack at the store, opened it for a video, and sold one of the cards for like forty bucks, wow. which was pretty wild. And it was a seven dollar pack. Am I rich? You know, I, I've seen stuff. A little bit. I've gone. I've gone. I tell you. 
I think that the, the, the whole tool side and all that, people are looking for bargains, that kind of stuff. The you know, everybody, all the stuff's going on in the world, election season. I've been yeah. selling like I've been selling all kinds of stuff that preppers would buy and camping stuff and all that stuff's going nuts, which it does this time of year well, it's also anyways. The time but of year, right? Everything I just sold I sold so Dave, I bought this down there at the A one A sale. Spearhead adjustable gasket cutter, eighty five yeah. bucks. Yeah, I just sold I sold I went to a sale Friday, I bought a bag of tools, I listed two of them, they both sold overnight. Twenty eight <laughs> bucks and seventeen bucks. And I was like, Oh, okay, that's cool. So I guess tools might be worth I, I know some guy named Blood Sweat and Cell that might agree. Yeah, with you. Leroy, you know I'm gonna have to ask you. Can we say the bubble that's gonna burst is NFTs, or that's done? <laughs> we're we're no, that, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, now's the time to invest hey. if you want a something for ten cents that's gonna go down to a penny. <laughs> Mine still got decent value. Did I'm we almost have trash to cash NFTs? It. Did Kevin almost convince us? Kevin of that? almost convinced us. Yeah, but then we were too lazy to. Do Listen, that. we don't need it. You got a Patreon. Anybody who goes to the Patreon can yeah. now be. That's the next trash to cash. So we'll like yeah. we'll we'll have like. Like a Airbnb at, at, at highway sales all over the country, and if you're in the Patreon, you get to sleep with Dave. Oh, I get. Wait, what? <laughs> Isn't that your thing? Sneakers, <laughs> sneakers. My answer is sneakers. I think Going the sneakers down? market yeah. could pop oh, yeah. because it's ridiculous. Some of the crap that are selling for ridiculous <sighs> money has got to go away. Like it's. They got I think with, look like I don't the think, Grinch I don't think they're going to, what it does is it, it's just like sports cards. It's going to evolve different things that are hot. It's same with vintage clothing, like clothing it evolves. There's always going to be hot clothing, hot style. There's going to be shoes that are popular, but a lot of the popular shoes right now are not going to be popular in three years or two years. Yeah. I don't think sneakers style is going, is going anywhere. No. <clears throat> There's too many sneaker heads out there that are what just happened? the old school stuff. It's just too many. Dude, What's the deal I with those it? Mega Man shoes? Have you guys seen those giant foam no. red shoes that look oh, like Oh, yeah. Mega they're Man not Mega boots? Man, though. They're, uh, they look Elijah like it, though. Me. They're so stupid looking. I want to wear those. I want that to, to be my look personality. They're like an anime character. Are they better looking why? than Carrie's They're hair? Uh, Uggs or something, yeah. Dude, I look good. You're just jealous. Big Red, they're Astro Boy boots. It just looks like Astro Boy. Boy, yeah. But I, I think it's Uggs. I can't remember the actual maker. Might be Uggs. All right. Well, maybe these people. Oh, look at this. Peaches to Beaches. I bought a cash register. Sold for one hundred thirty-two ninety-five. Oh, hey, hey. Have you ever heard of this? So, this guy says, hey, I got sent an offer, and the offer said the shipping was $38. But then when I paid for it, the shipping was $51. That can't be right. Right? I've never heard that before. No, that's right. Yeah. He he anyway. probably no. What happened, Kevin? Is he had the wrong zip code when he was looking mm. at it, and then he put his actual uh, shipping zip code. In it oh, changed. you know what? That's exactly what yeah. it is. Because yeah. this guy is first of all, he's got one feedback, which is odd. Because let me read the message to you. Hi, seller. Thank you. Also, please blind ship. No eBay labels or tags. No invoices, please. So what he did was looked at it on his, and then when he put that address, mm -hmm. and then he asked me for a refund on the shipping. <laughs> and you said thank no, you thank you figured you. it out no and i'm going to i'm going to write Look a note that you're a drop shipper to the, your customer that you're sending this to. <laughs> i want you to know he only paid this on ebay sir uh, okay, <laughs> so, so, i got picker. i think i found this i, I have something oh, you I found, found something okay, what'd you that, yeah like I, we i sold a, a forna seti 100 silk tie that i found How it much? like a yard sale i found a whole bunch of them like last year <laughs> for like five like under a dollar a piece it sold for fifty dollars Hey, there you go. Because... I want everybody down below just to clap emojis and also mention that calculated shipping isn't a thing. <laughs> I've mentioned this three times. It's very important to me. <laughs> Dave, Carrie, do you think more people do free shipping or calculated shipping? I think more people do free shipping than calculated. In my <laughs> no, you do I think, not. No, I, I, no well, chance. maybe uh, Maybe I haven't thought about it. You're right when you said like just people as a deep. Regular people who are not full-time resellers, you're probably right, do All calculated. Right, I'm gonna but I think up. of everything... As a as a reseller because that's who I am. Why are right. you so? Did you I, I zone out a lot? Did you mention why you don't like calculated shipping? You might have me. I, I, no, me? You mentioned no, because it you you're very care. you're into it and, and and you were so weird about it. It right. bothered me. I looked up Furby. Okay. All right, Furby. <laughs> Just messing around. I don't. One, two, but I do. And three, mention it down below. Four, five, six. The first nine items were calculated or were not free shipping that popped up and almost everyone after two that were free what are what the section vast are you majority in, are you in the adult section what part of ebay are you in? adult section of furbies 
<laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear the first yeah. part. I just, yeah, the <laughs> Furby Jones section. <laughs> They're gerbil size. That's what I was going to hear in the gerbil <laughs> Furby section. Batteries not included. <laughs> That's funny. Dawn would charge nineteen ninety nine to ship this Furby. She probably would, dude. Oh my Let's goodness. see. No, she sold a Furby recently. We should check to see what she And a lot of these have prices that lead me to believe they're flat rate shipping, Dave. Not the calculated yeah. ones that you typically see. But, I mean, it could be, you know, because... But not a lot of it. I mean, who charges twelve sixty shipping? Right, that's a calculated price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but oh, the nine ninety nines are flat rate right? and stuff like that. I would say the vast ma- vast majority do calculated shipping. So, can and... you do flat rate with a shipping table? And then if they're in a certain zip code, it'll charge them more. Isn't you know what people do? could do? Here's the, yeah, you could. So, uh, actually, no, you can't do that. You can't put a shipping table in your flat rate. It's flat rate. You can rate. only do it on. Free. That's the point of being flat rate. What a shipping! But what are you talking someone about? Someone told me a Tony Finding Keepers Resale says you can do something that'll like make it so even if you do free shipping, if they're a certain distance away, it charges them something. Should we know about this, guys? We should. Know you can elim- You could eliminate like Alaska, Hawaii, and uh, territories and stuff. I don't know about that. Seems aggressive. Shipping that rate seems tables on me. eBay. Shipping. Rate oh really? Yes. Oh wow! Well, look, well, see, this, this is stupid. Why do we have a podcast? Talk shipping about, rate guys. tables. Why let's doesn't do it. Tony have a podcast? This is the question. Yeah, Tony knows Tony? a lot. Good. Yeah. Well, Tony listen. Knows a lot. How about this, folks? How about this? If you opt into that shipping thing with eBay, why don't you just add a handling fee of like two dollars? So yeah. you get the actual shipping I feel like plus you the two dollar could... handling fee. Yeah. So I feel like you could get a handling learn. fee. Yeah, look at this. Like if they knew that Kevin Kevin like like caressed every item before he shipped it out, I think people would pay extra. <laughs> I think they would. Yeah, you can create up to sixty unique rate tables to specify shipping options and costs for different five regions. regions. What in the US, nerd does that as though? well as international regions? Wow. A real serious reseller. Yeah, my Tony. boring reseller life might yeah. do that, but it's the Tony. great reset. He changed the name, so it's he's not boring anymore. So T- Tony should Create. start a new reselling podcast because that's what YouTube shipping does. tables and eBay. <laughs> by reselling by podcast. Choose whether you specify <laughs> reselling yeah, podcast. I mean. Anyway, so yeah, and you can I'm going to go make sure. I'm going to go mess around Kevin with the shipping didn't table. Wait, I listen, can't believe I discovered I, Ke- something Kevin didn't know. That blows my mind. I to- yeah. yeah, I, I wasn't I'm aware. A little of that. shocked during that. I'm shocked myself. So I I'm have get to shout out Griff. I told Griff I would shout him out at the eBay podcast for having me on. So I did it. There it is. Griff, for one minute, one hour. I've watched, I listened to Griff's podcast, the eBay, whatever it's called, mm-hmm. for years. eBay podcast? Yeah, it's just the eBay podcast, right? I listened to that because back in the day, Audio wise, there wasn't a lot of people to listen to. There was Scavenger Life, if you guys remember Scavenger. That's only Life. an audio podcast. I yeah, was happy only because audio. I had to film it in my bedroom. Well, well like, but back in the day, there was only audio podcasts. Kevin, now, you, you said you've film it in your bedroom. That's <laughs> yeah, he has a camera set up already there. He so. was a younger Kevin um, then too, mid seventies. That's just one of those. <laughs> they only went down to his knees back then. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Kevin, you remember back in the day, like you know how we, we, we there's a, a few podcasts. We did this video podcast, and then there's a lot of podcasts now. Uh, but back in the day, it was lives. Everybody was just doing lives, right? There was just like all these oh, reseller tons of live. live shows. Tons. All the there's time. still a few, like uh, <clears throat> Fundamentals. They do yeah. theirs live yeah. all the time. Fundamentals is good with a Z at the end of it. Yeah. And uh, Archie was on there. I, wa- I watched the one with Archie on it. They were good. Okay, so Archie let's get was disappointing, these, but they were good. a couple good. Patreon questions I did want to get to. So first of all, uh, wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. I got Susquehanna one more thing. Picker. Just leave it. Susquehanna, Susquehanna Picker. What are your predictions for the upcoming yard sale season, given the economic status in the country, specifically more sales, higher prices, things like that? I, I have the season a... never stopped for me, so I cannot answer this. I um, have a yeah. Seriously, no, it did. It slows down this summer. It's going to slow bit. down in June, July, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's always a complicated question. I actually have a video coming out kind of about it, so I'll leave it a little bit. But for the most part, I expect... Just answer the question, Kevin. I expect it to be pretty similar to last to year. the nerdery with all my fellow nerds, and we're going to crunch some numbers in my video. Yeah, we got a shipping table. <laughs> meep, 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 meep. <laughs> Here's the he kind of looks like the little meep meep guy from... Uh, I honestly don't later. feel... I don't know how, to what degree... Like, Are we talking about like, how it will affect yard sales and yard sale items? He's thinking, prices, right? he's thinking yard sale prices will be higher because people are more hard up for I, money, or maybe there'll be more uh, yard no. sales or people less yard sales. People who are hard sales. up for money, it's lower. 
Okay. I think it's the same as always. Always, there's going to be overpriced yard sales and underpriced yard sales until the end of time. I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference that it's going to be noticeable, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't think it there's going to be. Changed here. I'll Listen, tell you I went to a like dime sale on the ground the reporting day. here. I went Dude, to I, a dime sale. Those are amazing. It's always like a nineties. There's always like a ninety-seven-year-old person doing dime sales. It's, it's a an older dime. Lady. Kevin's like, oh my wow. gosh, that's that's ten penny candies. <laughs> Kevin's like, didn't we date in high school? <laughs> Gertrude, how you been, baby? <laughs> I hate both of you. Listen, yeah, um, Cat the Nurse Slipper Show. Thank you to both of you for going on there and buying. I my, did. I bought a super chat just to show dolphin. Kevin as a mermaid. Oh, it is. Yeah. It makes me feel. Yeah. Yeah. Avon Thrifty Ridge. Thank you. And I expect to check weird. Cat. Because she got lots of money from that. It bothered chat. me that they airbrushed all the nipples. Mm. Yeah. You but the abs the were nips. looking good. They were almost as good yeah. as my abs. Yeah. We have a Seriously. couple of questions that aren't really related to reselling. Maybe I'll see. Which we can't we can't answer week. those. Yeah. Not on this podcast. Well, give us one more. We didn't all right, even quit, answer rap, any. Let's do them in rapid fire format then. Rapid or you fire. just do an answer, one word <laughs> answer. Quirky picker okay. Chad, if you could eat one food for a month straight, what would it be? Carrie, go. Uh, chicken tikka masala. Okay. Kevin, go. Burritos, uh, bagels, just bagels. <laughs> I like bagels. Very. That was an eclectic mix, right? Uh, Asiago like bagel with plain cream <laughs> an cheese. Asiago or ba- cream cheese, either way. Everything yeah. bagel. Love, love me an Asiago cream cheese bagel. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. At what point will Kevin get a car manufacturer to sponsor his picker channel and give him a car? And which car company will it be? Um, I'm gonna <laughs> guess. I'm gonna guess forty-two months. I think Tesla <laughs> next week. Cybertruck. Kevin, what about yeah, you? Yeah, and guess what? It's not gonna work on arrival. It's going to be dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to accelerate you to death. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how's the Tesla, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Man. She's got a Brian Honda Civic. Awesome. I do have an app that does sponsorship. What though. is your favorite Wait, non-reselling did. YouTube channel to watch? Mm. Ooh, I don't watch for it. The, you two guys watch too much. So does Tim. All these people, they send me these TikToks and whatever. Y'all Sunny, get off of there and do Sunny, some Sunny V2. Sunny V2, the rise and falls of YouTubers. Those are fun. Those are fun videos. Mine's probably the Pew 2, P-U-G-H-T-W-O. It's a couple that goes to Universal Studios. I've met them a couple times, and I like watching them. They make good videos. A lot of sports card channels I like, but that's mostly reselling. Videos. I'm not going to say. Because it's all political. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot Actually, of swinger podcasts. No, po- it's a lot not, of swinger it's podcasts. It's all erotic, then. <laughs> it's, no? It's just not erotic political, political talk. <laughs> 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 Newt Gingrich Ooh, with his shirt bill. off. Well, let me tell leathered, you about up, these bills. leathered up Newt Gingrich. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, amendment the is The Newt sexy. Gingrich and Ross Perot show. <laughs> the Ross, it's not. Or, like, isn't Newt Gingrich and Ross Perot dead? The, no. Ross Perot is dead. For the record, it's not political and it's also not erotic. Mm, okay. Well, that doesn't now leave I'm us curious. many options. We'll, we'll find out after the show and tell you guys next week. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, final question. There's no more questions. 